drip, but it's done like this. Aye. Who you know they can stun like this? Take every nigga chick, don't cut that shit. Ho, oh, shut up. Throw it on back, don't get up. Need some motivation, bitch, get up. Hold your head down, don't sit up. Nigga, no cap, we been lip rap. Young niggas have it, all about cabbage. Not to be fucked with, nigga, we savage. Spit it like magic, nigga, so average. Yeah. Want me to rap, I'll rap, pull his wig back, gon' shot. Yeah, cause it's cap, what you rap, it's a fact, nigga, me against shoot, that's a long shot. Nigga, that don't want smoke. If it smoke, let's get it. Fuck it, you already know that I'm big. I just get on that beat and get the dumping. Man, who fucking with us in this city? Nigga, not a soul, I suppose. If a nigga flex up, then I'm going for the juggler. Man, we going for a dog, nigga, win, lose a drop. Boss cut throat like a murder bird. In and out like a burglar. Dump. Niggas on the ground, we turning nothing in the something. Uh, fuck y'all niggas. We ain't tripping out shit. Nah. Tag team. Tag team. I'm with your bitch. Nigga, so bitch. Hey. Yeah, they pissed off. Rather be that than pissed on. Skinny nigga, but my dick long. Yeah, you niggas hate me, but your bitch don't. Bad nigga, dick, and your bitch love it. I should get this hard dick, I ain't giving nothing. Nah. I ain't trying to feed the needy, I don't get back. Independent, you don't need a nigga big fat. Big sex coming, flowing in and out. A lot of bust downs going in and out. All friend niggas better simmer down. Black card, cold, let the winner now. Outlaw nigga, yeah, we get around. FSD, maybe come take me. I might shake some, but it can't shake me. Nigga, I won't stop till they y'all hate me. Yeah. Hey. Rapping, I was slapping shit. Man, I've been a savage before 21. Riding with a baddie and she 21. I used to ride around with about 21s. Now I see them strippers throw them 21s. Started in the back, now I'm in the front. With this do rag and this beanie like I'm Iverson. Yeah. You niggas play all day I made a lane, y'all want the drip And I watched all y'all take I played the game, I got rich And I watched all y'all hate Just apologize ahead of time Before I let it fly in y'all face We'll turn this bitch into Columbine Cause the gang not far away And we know where y'all stay So let's keep it gangster while fight When I can just smoke out where you lay Hey, she wanna crash at my crib tonight But she leave lotion and that stupid shit My bitch gon' find I hit that bitch with a ratchet gang Benny on I'm not a I only fed that whole Cinnabon A lot of niggas like to talk But they just in the way But I can't argue with no niggas Who not in the game You know I'm Black, Black, Black Panther bitch When I started rapping I was slapping shit Man I've been a savage before 21 Riding with a baddie And she 21 I used to ride around with about 21s Now I see them strippers throw them 21s Started in the back now I'm in the front With this do rag and this beanie like I'm Iverson Yeah They used to try to leave me out the flyers for the shows Now they tryna sign Ratchet Gang to HBO Bottles of Patron get delivered to my hoes I put it in the air, you know that weed is my cologne Phoenix never cold, no we not on the beach I'm at a lake house with a hoe And knowing she a thotty, I'ma call up two more And they all going crazy with them pals of gringo And they just had two lines and they just did 15 more And now they in the field and on their knees like T-Bow But that's the price of fame So we both in the field but you don't never play Look I'm a coach you a player, boy, get out the game Ay, You know I'm Black, Black Panther, bitch Ay, When I started rapping, I was slapping shit Man, I've been a savage before 21 Riding with a baddie and she 21 I used to ride around with about 21s Now I see them strippers throw them 21s Started in the back, now I'm in the front With this do rag and this beanie like I'm Iverson Yeah the black panther bitch When I started rapping I was slapping shit Man I've been a savage before 21 Riding with a baddie and she 21 I used to ride around with about 21 Now I see them slippers so I'm 21 Started in the back now I'm in the front With this do rag and this beanie like I'm Iverson Yeah
Oh man, I'm the I'm the coldest to ever do it. The coldest to ever do it. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, no, I'm talking about, no, I'm talking about, no, I'm talking about. We back, Ratchet Gang. We back with another one. We back with another banger. Get the likes up. Look, you might have forgot. Hell, they might have forgot. But you already know it's the king. Too loyal, no, I'm talking about Ratchet TV. Hey, I y'all already know, man. Y'all already know. Get the likes up if you in the building and if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button tap that notification bell so you can get the drop whenever i drop I right, so boom man 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 we got to talk ratchet gang tonight we chop it up we have to talk about the mo three case and i have some <clears throat> i have some rather rather useful information y'all gonna want to use tonight y'all y'all got some y'all got some um hold on give me a second Man, man, man. I'm trying to I'm trying to uh crop something out real quick. I'm trying to crop something out because tonight, y'all, I ain't gonna even lie to y'all. I got information that's about to blow. I'm talking about the Mo 3 case is gonna be fucked up tonight. Y'all finna be looking like bro, what the fuck is really going on? What is really going on, big ratchet? What you got for us tonight, man? Look, let's just put it like this. Half of it y'all already seen. Half of it y'all already seen because, well, I don't know who's been around or in the bushes or wherever. Maybe you've been living under a rock today. But Big Ratchet has been going viral all motherfucking day. It's been up and it's been stuck since earlier today whenever I chopped it up with uh, Mo 3's baby's mother, Ashley Murray. She also came in my chat saying some wild shit. So she got 10 minutes in timeout. So you got 10 minutes to think about that, Ashley. And I'll even let you get up here. I will even allow you to get up here, Ashley. If, if you want the link, you can definitely pop out over here. See, you've been doing a lot of talking, Ashley. But you know you came and you spilled some shit earlier. And we are about to expose that shit that you did earlier. The worst decision you made was talking to me. Now, Ashley, that link is for you if you want it. You've been doing a lot of tough talking and you've been throwing some wild ass shit out there about me. That's how I know you've been look, you've been looking at YouTube a little too long. You see the shit you trying with me, they already tried. I told you, don't mention my name with no kids. Don't do no goofy shit like that. But hey, if you want to run with it, be my guest. Just see how goofy you look like the rest of them. But that's not even the story for today. The story for today, Ashley. Not only do I have so much on you and how you told on yourself and exposed yourself in this Mo3 case, and we got it all laid out. But let's just say, as soon as I got off the phone, well, not phone, excuse me. As soon as I got off that live, someone hits me up. And I'm going to be real. I don't, I really don't entertain my DMs too often at all. Now, I don't entertain my DMs too, too often. But something about this message just kept on. I just, it, I don't know. I was kind of drawn to the message. I just kept saying, okay, what the fuck is going on? Salute, guys, something that 20 piece McNugget. I appreciate you. Showtime, gang, get the likes up. Make sure you smash that like button. Salute, guys, son. Salute, true. I appreciate both of y'all for dropping off them 20 piece McNuggets. Salute to you. I appreciate, I appreciate both of y'all. Salute, true. Salute, guys, son. But look, tonight I got some information to y'all to get. Um, I got some information to get out to y'all. I don't know how to get this information out. I could not record the conversation because I have to protect this person. And <clears throat> this shit, this shit's been fucking with me all day, man. 
allegedly uh, allegedly and everything i say is alleged and it's all under the fair use act and you can see the fair use disclaimer in the description of this video and in the description of all my videos this is just for entertainment and educational purposes only this is just to educate my people on what we've been covering over here like i said it's all under the fair use act and you can see the fair use disclaimer in the description of this video and everything i say is alleged allegedly okay so someone hits me up and it's a source and this source that the way they just hit me up right now said they just want to go by the name cherry red so we're just gonna call that person cherry okay um uh, someone hits me up they're telling me they got some information for me and then they they keep they keep speaking in code and I and I, I'm thinking it's a troll. I'm mean, for a split second I'm like this person is a fucking troll. All right, understand y'all. I'm kind of freaked out a little bit. And I heard some goofy bitch gonna ask me, or well, if if you if it's freaking you out and the shit kind of got you a little whoopty whoop, why the fuck would you even cover? It? Because I'm Ratchet TV and this is this is what the fuck I was chosen to do. You understand that, right? This this shit is bigger than me and it's bigger than you y'all might be scared to get the truth out but I, I don't walk in fear I got God on my side it is what it is you know what I'm saying but this information will get out there tonight and it will get out there further past this conversation I had with this person I only got so much but I got a lot tonight so just I want everybody to really shut the fuck up and listen tonight I'm not going back and forth this is what it is I don't care how nobody feels about what happens tonight it is what it is it's up and it's stuck I got too much shit going on here in my brain and it's fucking with me, but I got to get this out. So, all right, where do we start? So this person hits me up and they keep speaking in codes. So I'm like, all right, whatever. What's up? Like, what, what are, uh, is this about a case? That's why I, so I asked the person, is this about a case? The person responds, yes. <clears throat> so um, the person uh, says, yes, it's about a case. <sighs> Salute Binky on that five piece. I appreciate you, man. Look, y'all, I'm trying. All right. Just bear with me tonight, y'all. Just bear with me tonight. I, I appreciate you though, Binky. So I probably won't be joking a lot tonight, because yeah, I probably just won't be. I mean, maybe when we start talking about Ashley, I'll get in my mode where I joke around with y'all a little bit. But this shit that I got tonight got me, <clears throat> it's kind of fucked up, man. So listen to this, y'all. So that somebody hits me up and they're telling me, like, hey. I got some information you need about it. You know, I, I, woo -doo -woo -doo. So I'm like, it's about a case. What's up? Bro? What case are you talking about? They're like, it's, it's about the most popular case in Dallas. So I'm like, the Mo3 case. Okay, what's up? Let's talk. So we get on a call. It's a, We're looking at each other. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm going to speak in code around some shit. Just whatever. Just listen to me, y'all. So I'm looking at this person. This person is looking at me, and we're chopping it up. And... They tell me, I know you probably think I'm a troll. So let me instantly show you who I am. So they instantly pull out a badge. Look, I don't give a fuck who believe what the fuck I say. I'm going to show y'all a bunch of shit tonight. I don't give, I really honestly don't give a fuck how people take this. It, it just, just listen to me, bro. Just listen. So this person pulls out a badge and shows me some shit. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, okay. What's up? Like, I'm confused as fuck. Like, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? So they're telling me like I'm I'm undercover, and I went in to get close to Kiwan White. <sighs> so Kiwan White, this person. Then shows me something that uh shows me what Kiwan White got caught up with whenever they caught him. Now I'm gonna show y'all a quick picture real quick, just to show y'all some shit. We ain't we gonna get into a lot of this shit later. So the, I take a picture of it. This is on Face. This is a FaceTime. So I took. I, I was like, can I screenshot it? They're like, yeah, you can screenshot it. Woo -doo -woo -doo -woo. And when I screenshot it, this is what Kiwan White originally got caught up with. If you look at this, this is what he had on him when he even explosives you see he got caught up with two grenades now we're gonna get into this later i got a whole bunch of shit on kiwan he was this dude was on some shit so 
I'm gonna get back to that. I'm just showing y'all a little bit by a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to show y'all a whole bunch of shit tonight. Ashley, to be real, you are lucky that this happened, but your name came up too. So just sit tight, Ashley. I don't know how I'm gonna do this show tonight. Just bear with me, y'all. So the person is showing me some shit. They start talking to me about when they got close to Kiwan, what was going on. So allegedly, this person also details to me how Rainwater is one of them. I, could, I can't make this shit up. They say Rainwater's protected. He's good. He's one of us. But listen, Rainwater's the one who went and got the footage. That's true. You're right. You, you were right about this. We just want you to know. I know I, a lot of people going to say Ratchet is over here lying, but it, it don't even matter. I'm going to prove everything. Just, just bear with me, y'all. I swear I can't make this up. I know a lot of y'all are going to listen to me tonight and just think this is I'm full of shit. I could not record this, but they did send me a whole bunch of shit to back up everything. And I got it all for y'all here tonight. I also got a recording of Ashley exposing herself tonight. I got everybody lined up. So this person contacts me and said, we tried this with other smaller bloggers and YouTubers. We tried this. But these people, and I was like, you can't get them. They, Rain is already paid. Like, we know Rain got everybody. But at the same time, like we tried to get the information out, but nobody will. Nobody. But you seem like you're the smartest one. But my people told me not to trust you. So this is what she said. She said, my people told me not to trust you because we've been watching it all. Listen to what I'm telling y'all. They said, we're watching everything. There's people, she said, there are people whose jobs are strictly to be on YouTube. There are people whose jobs strictly to do social media. They got people in all these departments and they've been watching you. They've been watching everybody. But I told them, like, I want to go with, to him. Like, that's the one I want to go to because I've been watching him before this. So that's the one. They're like, no, do not go to him because he will out you. She's like, no, I, I mean, I got to take the chance because we, they want, the, trust me, they want the information out there and they're going to, and if other bloggers will tell you, they've been approached with this same information, not what I got, but they've been approached by people. They'll tell you, they've been approached. I just got approached by my first, I, I've never seen an officer approach me. I've, I would have told y'all by now, this is the first time this has ever happened to me. They hit me up. They also tell me Rainwater went and got the footage from the Mexican lady across the hall. So ask the girls, am I lying? How would I know this? Go ask the sisters right now. Was it a Mexican lady? If I'm making it up, it'll expose it right now. Ask the sisters. I would not. How the fuck would I know this information? So ask Jasmine, Jossie, and 88. Now ask all of them. Ask that hope. Ask T Topics and them right now. Am I making this up? If y'all are in the bushes, come out the bushes. I'm not tripping on shit. I'm not, I'm not tripping on the sisters. I don't got nothing to say about y'all tonight. I'll talk, I'll, I'll get into y'all whenever I get into y'all. I'm not tripping on that shit right now. Jackie, you caught a, you, you, you really caught a break today because of this shit happening. I'm going to get sidetracked though. Just know, am I making this part up? There's a Mexican lady. The Mexican lady has the footage. The footage shows, and Jossie, when I, when I, when I'm not making this part up, you know, I'm about to have you, I'm, I'm about to have your whole family shaking about the next part I'm going to drop. So tell me when I make this part up. Y'all know that on that footage, Jossie went to that car and talked to Devin. It's on camera. The Mexican lady has it in rain. No, ask Rain, am I making this up? Ask Rain. Get Rain over here right now. Somebody go get Rain over here right now. Am I making this shit up, Rain? Did you not get that footage from a Mexican lady? Did you not get it from a, from a Mexican lady? And on that footage, that's why you've been saying a lot. Because you know, like I know, that they knew Devin was outside. And she knows that they used the, the kid as a cover-up. But she communicated with Devin Brown that night. I'm not making this shit up. It's alleged, but I'm going to say this. I'm not making this up. This is what the police and the detectives have. Eric Barnes has this information. You know, like I know, the reason why y'all are cooperating and y'all don't want the streets to know because y'all been panicking to the officers telling them y'all don't want the streets to know what y'all are telling them. But y'all are giving the officers a lot of information. All of y'all, all three of y'all. So right now, y'all are protected. So you are right. I will say this, Jackie. You are right. 
they did say y'all good for now. You just don't know what I know. They did tell y'all that. So when Jackie got up there and said, oh, the detectives didn't clear my phones, and they have. But you know, like I know, they know they know what they know because they told y'all. And you even said, okay, we fucked up. Y'all told the officers we fucked up. We made a mistake because you know that you the one who gave the drop that Mo3 was still there. You communicated with Devin. You didn't know what the fuck he was coming over there to do, but he did pull up and you did go outside and that person across the hallway got you or across the street or whatever. They, The Mexican lady got you on camera going to Devin's car that night. So is that when Mo 3's go? I don't know. I'm not saying nothing. All, all I'm saying is this shit came to me and I'm going to prove everything tonight. So not only that, and I just wanted y'all to see the evidence photos because nobody's seen that. What I'm showing y'all, nobody's seen that. When you look at Kiwan's paperwork, he got caught up with explosives. Go dig up Kiwan White's paperwork. I got all this shit over here tonight. So <clears throat> not only that, Kiwan White, <sighs> Kiwan White is never going to see the light of day. You know why? They also told me there is no trial. There is there's gonna be no trial. They're, they're getting, she said they're so close to this not being no trial. And you know why? Devin Brown already took a plea deal in the Mo3 case. Ask Jossie Banks in my line about that. How would I know this, Jossie? Nobody knows what I know. Devin Brown already took a plea deal. He copped out. She said the details in the plea deal are sealed. The details are all sealed in this plea deal, but Devin Brown already copped out. But everybody's been snitching on Kiwan. They got him. They got Kiwan dead to rights. Because even uh, uh, Armani Rose, you're under investigation right now. You know why? I have, Dev I have Kiwan White's visitor list, Armani. You're on there. I thought you didn't communicate with Kiwan, but you're lying about that because I also got the phone records. You've been communicating with Kiwan White, Armani Rose, and Bushy. Y'all still have been talking to him. Are y'all that stupid to think they wouldn't put this together? Also, Jose Bodega and Kiwan White were talking right before Jose Bodega got picked up. Jose Bodega also said he didn't know Kiwan, and Kiwan said he didn't know Jose Bodega, but they was talking on the damn jail phone. You can't make this shit up. <clears throat> Jose Bodega and Kiwan White <clears throat> helped, pl pl uh, helped plan out this murder. Also, this lady even showed me that when he was locked up, and hold on, matter of fact, y'all don't even know where Kiwan is at. Tell me, how do I know Kiwan is in Alabama right now? How do I know that? How do I know that when he met this lady, he got moved to Atlanta immediately? And that should have been the first red flag for him, she said. She said, as soon as I was assigned to him, they, mo they moved him to Atlanta. As soon as, as soon as I was assigned to him, the next day he was moved to Atlanta. Look it up. Was Kiwan White moved to Atlanta? Is Ratchet TV making this shit up? Y'all tell me right now, am I making any of this shit up? You can look it all up if you can figure it out. But I got it. Also, I'm going I'm to shock y'all with a lot of shit tonight. Because they even showed me what I was wrong on. Also, Kiwan White, and I'm going to be scrambling through a lot of this shit because I, I, I didn't record it, bro. I'm going to be real. I didn't record it. I couldn't. I, she was looking at my computer. And I, like, I was showing her I ain't recording this shit. Like, she was like, man, just show me. You ain't recording this? Like, I'm like, no, I'm not. Look, my computer not even on. So I was not recording the conversation, but there was a lot of information. But I, I, I man, Kiwan White has been under investigation even before the Mo3 case. But Kiwan White, allowed this lady to go pick up all his paperwork and was it like Pflugerville or flag or flag or some, I don't know man y'all can tell me what federal facility that is if some flag or Pflugerville I don't know what, what the hell it was she I would have to ask her again and I know she's watching so tell me what fucking city you said that was where uh you went to pick up the paperwork from can you tell me I, for, I damn forgot it was Flaggerville, Pflugerville some shit I can't remember anyway she went to pick up the paperwork <clears throat> as she picking up the paperwork I can't say some of this shit because I, just 
there's some more. Understand what I'm saying? But there's a book that Kiwan the Kiwan White wrote. He wrote a book. Armani Rose is shaking right now that I'm talking about this book because Armani Rose, they got the recording of Armani Rose stating that bitch that picked up your paperwork just remember that book you wrote. Armani Rose, why did you say that? And how do I know that you said that, Armani Rose? You said whatever bitch you had pick up your paperwork, just remember that book you wrote. And you was like, I trust her. And you and Kiwan White fell in love with this girl. Kiwan White fell in love with her. They, she was assigned to him for three months <clears throat> and got close to him. She said they had to do intimate things over the phone. It was it was awkward and weird. They did a, it was a lot of shit that she had to do to get this job done. But she even went to visit Kiwan. I even got hold on. Let me show you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. No one can get access to Kiwan right now. You notice Kiwan can't get. He was on YouTube for a minute. Now. There's one part I can't show. Hold on. I can't show because, yeah, okay, well, her face is in it. So let me not show one part of it, but I will definitely show you his face. So I'm going to delete this as soon as I'm done because I don't want to, I ain't going to put her out there. So let me show y'all something real quick. A salute to Aquarius on that uh, on that YouTube membership. Salute. So I'm going to show y'all. I ain't capping. So let me, hold on. Let me make sure I ain't. Okay, we good. <clears throat> I just want to make sure I'm I'm not I'm slipping, bro. Just tonight is a fucking it's gonna be some monumental shit. So how did I get this? Because no one can get access to Kiwan right now. No one can get access to Kiwan right now. So how did I get this? Even the new whoop de whoop. You see, there's some new art he got there. This is no one has seen this. You know what I'm saying? No one has access to Kiwan right now except for this one person. And here, and this is proven. Somebody get access to Kiwan right now. No one knows where he's at. You can't. Also, the person that was a witness in the Mo3 case, the only witness, Mr. Graham. Uh, Y'all can say his name in the chat. Y'all remember Mr. Graham, the one that also shot back? That dude is now incarcerated. And when you look up his docket number, it no longer exists. Try to find them. I, I promise y'all, look it up. If I'm making any of this shit up, go, go do your research and prove me wrong and call me the biggest capper ever. I got 2.1K people in here already. I ain't making shit up tonight. Show me you can get access to Kiwan White right now. This woman has access to him. Well, she don't got access, access to him no more. The job is done. Kiwan White, you got played. Congratulations, Kiwan. You got played. Who is this calling in? Okay, somebody just tried to hit my link. Somebody just tried to hit my link. All right, but anyway. Man, 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 man. So, like I said, nobody has access to Kiwan right now. But this person. Nobody can contact Kiwan. You know why? Kiwan is done. Kiwan White is about to go down. Not on, And not only do they have Kiwan dead to rights on that, they have him dead to rights on the Mo3 case. In that book that Kiwan White wrote, he details in there how Mo3 was shot. Only, this is what she said, only someone who knew how Mo3 got shot because she has the all of the paperwork that says Mo3 wasn't shot being running. Mo3 was shot fighting. They said the footage shows Mo, th this is this is what they told me. The footage shows Mo three did run, but Mo three also turned around and bum rushed the dude. He got he. They said Mo three turned all the way around, ran towards the dude and bum rushed him, and that's how he got shot in the chest. Kogati, am I making it up? Miss Noble, am I making it up? With all due respect, am I making this shit up right now? Y'all tell me. Ask the family, am I making this shit up? This is in the. How would I know this shit though? I got everybody shaking right now because they know what I'm saying is the truth. Mo3 didn't die running. This is in the paperwork. This is in, in, in allegedly on the this is allegedly on the footage. This is what they telling me. Mo3 bum rushed the dude. Mo3 was fixing to fight the dude. They said Mo3 didn't run. They said he went right towards the dude and bum rushed the dude and got shot and that's how he died. Allegedly. Allegedly. I'm just this if I'm making this up Kogadi 
Miss Noble, somebody in the family, just say, bro, you capping right now. Just if you in the chat right now, just say, bro, you capping, bro, you lying. Tell me that's not really on Mo 3's paperwork. Did Mo 3 not bum rush the dude? How would I know this shit? Also, they saying on that on that uh that day, so tell me am I lying about this, Kogati? When Mo whenever that night, Jossie Banks goes out to Devin Brown's car. She she said she didn't know he was there, but she's on camera going down there. Now she told the detective she fucked up. She slipped up. She whoopty whoopty whoop. I don't know where Mo three was at during this time. I don't know. I don't know. But at this point, Jossie is on camera going to Devin Brown's car. Jossie, am I making this shit up? I know they whole family's like, bro. How the fuck does he know this shit? Ashley, where are you at? Ashley, you can come back now. Am I making this shit up, Ashley? Somebody come over here and tell me I'm lying. 88, am I lying? Where everybody go? Where all the trolls go that said I was capping about? I got so much shit that I haven't even started. We're going to be here forever tonight. I'm not even starting my show yet. I'm just talking. We're not even getting started yet over here. I'm just telling y'all the shit I got tonight scared the fuck out of me. I'm just showing y'all I'm credible. This shit ain't no game. But let me delete that picture real quick out of my archives because her face is in that picture, so I can't keep that. So let me... uh. Let me go over here and let me take that. Let me unsend that. All right. I didn't know her face was in that. But anyway, I needed to show y'all that she has access to Kiwan White. And none of y'all can get access to Kiwan White right now. Also, this dude handwriting is so sloppy. Also, they got Kiwan White for the Boosie shooting. He made a diss track to Boosie while he was in jail. And they got him, allegedly, on the Boosie shooting. Him and GRC were, were communicating. This Man, look, I, if I'm lying, I'm flying. GRC and Kiwan White communicated. He's in, the, he's in Big T right now. He just went inside. He just came out. This is, and y'all know, I, I, I've always said Boosie didn't get shot. She said most definitely. And Kiwan White was behind it. They sent Kiwan White to, to kill Boosie and Mo3, allegedly. They said Kiwan White is a stone cold killer. As a matter of fact, this is where I'm going to shock the fuck out everybody. Kiwan White is the missing person who killed Siobhan Randall. Rainwater only knows that because he's connected to the feds, and that woman is a fed. Rainwater. How did you know that, bro? How the Rainwater's right. He kept telling me, look into that. The names are going to shock you. How the fuck did Rainwater know that Kiwan White took out that little girl? And he could do that and look at people with a straight fucking face. Kiwan White, they're giving you life, sir. When Kiwan White gets life or, or something so drastic, Kiwan White will never come home again. The shit they got on Kiwan White, he will never come home again. Kiwan, you're done. What you did to that little girl, and they know it was you. Kiwan White unalived Siobhan Randall. And that's the part that almost made me get into tears on the phone when she described that that dude, what he did to that little girl. See, this is the part y'all don't want to talk about, though. See, y'all been saying... Salute to uh, Pacheo. I appreciate you, RG4L. You are the effing truth, bro. Long live Melvin. I appreciate you, man. Salute for that 20-piece McNugget. I appreciate you. Salute, salute, salute. I'm trying to remember everything, man. Uh, Kiwan White was behind the Siobhan Randall unaliving. Him and those people did what they did to that girl. And that's why Rainwater has been coming over here telling me, you know what I'm saying, look into that case. And it gave me chills. Right now I got chills going down me, man, everywhere, man, because it's like Rainwater is a fucking fed, bro. And I've been calling and I've been telling you. And this person told me Rainwater is one of us. He's protected. He's good. She also told me, I didn't even tell her Rain. We didn't even talk about it. She just threw that in there. She was like, you, she's like, and uh, we got proof 
that he was behind the unaliving of Siobhan Randall. And I was like, wait, 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 what? So yeah, he's behind the Siobhan Randall thing. I don't know if you heard of it. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Rainwater just told me to look into this case. And he kept saying there was some names and he just kept being real sublime. She's like, yeah. The, what he did to that little girl, she just went to talking about, and she was like, and I had to look at him and I told him he never needs to see the light of day again because of what he did to that little girl. And not only that, there's more murders that Kiwan White has committed. She said that man is a stone cold killer with no conscience. He doesn't care. She said he can he can kill and not care about it or never think about it again. This is what she told me. She said Kiwan White is the person who can kill and never think about it again. She said I got close to him and the man scares me. She's like, get in the three months, I do have love for him as far as, you know, he's a, a person, but you know what I'm saying? The dude is a killer. And she recommended to them that he never gets out of jail. And they got so much shit on Kiwan. Kiwan, let me go to show y'all. How do I got the papers in your book, Kiwan? Armani Rose, how do I got this, Armani? Armani, how do I got this? Dear bitch ass boo. Dear bitch ass boo, yeah, this for Boosie Boo, all this shit that you be talking. Dear bitch ass boo, I'm just here to speak the truth. You a snitch and you a hoe and you ain't stepping with no. And uh, tr I don't I can't read Kiwan White's writing, y'all. But this is some shit he wrote about Boosie in jail. All that ish that you be talking when your shooter. They ain't pop it. Uh, see, he's showing he's wrote this about going to step on Boosie and that his killers, his shooters didn't do it. Say you a certified what? Uh, Henny, bro, you a limper, bro. I, I can't read this shit, bro. No, it's been a little minute. Got you keeping your distance, my young one. They ass be tripping. They riding they out the city got those what something they ain't for show my youngin gone man bro i can't read this shit but he's telling y'all how he went and slid on on boosie kiwan white was the one who shot boosie i didn't even think boosie got shot so this is the part she's like you yeah you you got a lot of shit but you was wrong about this one and let me show you we know and we got proof correspondence between GRC members and Kiwan White and every GRC member is not getting out of jail. All those dudes are going down. And she said, and mark my words, you heard it here first on Ratchet TV. The next person to go down is Yellow Beezy. They already got eyes on Yellow Beezy. And not only that, I'm I'm going I'm gonna get to this part later, but there are some YouTubers, and I'm not gonna say not not YouTubers. I would say people who got YouTube channels after the fact, some girls. I'm just gonna say it like that. It's some it's some females that started to get on YouTube, and they said, and she said this to me: the best thing that ever happened was for them to get on YouTube. I swear I could not make this shit up. The lady looked at me and said, The best thing that ever happened, the best thing that ever happened was they all made YouTube channels. It made it a lot easier because people was already assigned to do YouTube and we've been watching it all. We watch your channel. We watch it. We watch everybody's shit. We're we got people that literally just watch YouTube all day. And the more they go live, the easier it is because they've been snitching on each other. She said they've all been telling on each other. It just makes it a lot easier. Just text me and said, thank you. Good job. Salute. Salute. I'm trying. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to keep it all. But anyway, so hold on. Let me see what this is. Don't forget your. I already did the disclaimer. I already did my disclaimer. I did that at the beginning of the show. Uh, but anyway, it says, it says, little gangster bit, she gave me the drop. Little gangster bit gave me the drop. Pull up like we got shot, just chilling, planning the plot, just waiting to let off them shots. Eyes and fingers stay on twitching. You them. I can't read this dude's shit. He basically saying a girl gave him the drop. And that's what she said. It was She said some female that Kiwan White was talking to gave the drop on Boosie. They came and 
they was they was watching Boosie. As you see, he was waiting on the plot. He had his fingers on the trigger. They was finna take out Boosie. He said, oh, shit, this is tripping them in their feelings. Something, little homie, a stepper. Them, I don't know. This dude, I can't read his handwriting, bro. But if y'all can read it, I don't know, fam. This is the song he wrote about shooting Boosie in jail. Now, let me ask y'all a question. Do y'all want to continue down this path of what happened today or do y'all want to get into the Ashley shit? Do y'all want to talk about Mo3 Baby Mama or do y'all want to continue to talk about what the fuck I found out? Y'all let me know where y'all want to go with this in the chat because I can keep I can keep going and showing y'all that I'm not capping about this shit. We can keep going and I just do the Ashley shit whenever we get time. If y'all tell me how y'all want to do this. I'm going to let y'all decide in the chat. We're going to do both, but how do y'all want to start it? Y'all want the baby mama first, or do y'all want the paperwork and shit first? What do y'all want? What y'all want? Paperwork or the baby mama? Paperwork or the baby mama? Paperwork or the baby mama first? How do y'all want I, I can keep going here and then get to the baby mama after. We're going to do both. Don't worry. We're going to be here for three hours if we need to. We're going to be here all night. We're going to be here all night. Let's go. They said it's a lot of people saying paperwork, baby. Oh, I see a lot of shit. Damn. Y'all want to. Okay, look. Okay, so y'all know I'm not capping, right? We can get to the baby mama shit and I can come back to this shit. Y'all just, I just want y'all to know I'm not capping about this shit. There's a lot of shit in this shit. We y'all want to get to the Ashley shit? Y'all want to get to the Ashley shit? Okay. So look, I just want y'all to see. I got a bunch of shit. Look, I'm going to show y'all. I got a bunch of shit tonight. Look. I got everything. I'm just showing y'all, bro. There ain't no cap in my rap. Look at all this shit. Look at all this shit. I got a bunch of shit. I got a whole bunch of shit. Okay, look, I'm just going to show you. We got a bunch of shit. That's all I'm showing y'all. We got a lot of shit to go over tonight. Okay? I just want to show y'all that. We got a lot of shit. So we can get to this. We can get to this. Hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. Ooh, child. It's going to get loose. All right. So if you go over to Sapphire's Cosina, let me go over to Sapphire's Cosina. All right, hold on. So let's go over to Sapphire's Cosina. Now, salute to Sapphire's Cosina. Y'all need to go subscribe to her channel. We about to, we're going to do it like this. We're going to go over to Sapphire's Cosina. And this is her channel right here. Go to go over to Sapphire's Cosina. She almost to 1,000 subs. Let's get her to 1,000. This video, she been it, it's been going up. It's been going up right now. Let's 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 get to this damn video on Sapphire's Cosina, man. All right, let's get to this video. All right, hold on. Let's play it. Oh shit. Ashley. Yes, ma'am. Oh, and it was Fannin County. F-A-N-N-I-N. So look it up. Keywan White was in Fannin County. How did I know all this? He was in Fannin County, y'all. Fannin. What I say about your kids, Ashley? You said my kids was broke, bum ass nigga. I, I thought she didn't want to. Lying, punk ass nigga, rat looking ass nigga, bitch ass nigga, hoe ass nigga. Yeah. Now keep, now keep in mind, y'all. Keep in mind, she came from me. Now, keep in mind, she came from me. She she was she was all it was all this. Remember, and she was even throwing allegations on me with children. She was doing all kind of wild shit with my name. It's like, okay. Okay, okay, Ashley. Don't worry. We're gonna get to we're gonna get to that paperwork later. G Money says nobody else coming with these receipts. Y'all throw my dog a bone. Salute for that 20 piece, man. I appreciate you, G Money. Let's get to this. No pussy getting uh, ass, nigga. Yeah, yeah, ass nigga. Yeah, you let's done? go. Are you done? Broke sure. ass nigga. No, I'm not done. I'm just getting started. Let's go. Oh. I'm broke. Okay. Yeah, let's go. And salute to Quatita. Salute to Quatita. A walk with the ancestors for this. I appreciate you, Quatita, for letting me get up there and do what I do. I do appreciate you, Quatita. It, it, man, just listen to this recording. This woman is about to expose herself in the Mo3 case. I got so much content tonight. I'm going to feed the streets for the next week or two. I'm about to feed the streets for the next week or two. Let's go. Continue. But so was you. So was you. So was you. So was you fucking big boogie. So was you fucking big boogie. So was you fucking big boogie. 
Was you fucking? Are you a pedophile? Definitely not. You Are you? Was you fucking big boogie? Do you no, fuck kids? definitely no, not. Was you fucking big boogie? Nigga. Definitely not. Was you fucking big boogie? Was you fucking big boogie? Because your best friend says you were. Your best friend says you were fucking big boogie. Was you fucking a lot of rap niggas? You rap bitch, huh? You rap trapping bitch, huh? Now you mad, huh? Now you mad, bitch? Because you was fucking big boogie and you got caught up, huh? Yeah, now you fucking mad, bitch. Now you mad, but you you ain't got nothing on me. Running it, run it, run it. You hear me telling her run it? Like what you're trying to do right now, sweetie? I I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to do the same shit that all these people did on YouTube and it didn't work. You're throwing wild ass allegations out there that are never gonna stick. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Run it, Ashley! Run it, you goofy lion bitch! You no, said Mo3 though! You, you, you told liar. me, why did you tell me Mo3 was coming to pick your daughter up? Why did you tell me Mo3 was on his way to pick your daughter up? Why the fuck is you lying? Why the fuck are you lying? Yeah, bitch, you fucking lying. You fucking lying. Bitch, you fucking lying. Bitch, you fucking lying. Bitch, you fucking lying. Bitch, exactly. You fucking told me Mo Woody was coming to pick your daughter up. You fucking lying, bitch. Stupid ass bitch. You a fucking lumpy. You set that man up. And you was fucking Cedric. And you was fucking Big Boogie. You was fucking Cedric, you lying, bitch. You know goddamn damn well you was you fucking sad. You- it's loose, y'all. Make sure y'all smash that like button. So far, what do y'all think? How is her energy? She, ca- But before this, you got to go back to before this. She called me up there. She called me up there. You know what I'm saying? I was I was chilling. I I did she she as soon as as soon as uh Quatita started talking to her, she instantly says, I don't know what a motherfucker saying in the chat, because we was arguing in the chat. Wooty wooty woo. She got on the panel and started addressing me. So that's basically you calling me up. So when I went up there, she said, I got nothing to say to him. I don't want to talk to him. So okay, I dropped down and I said, I right, bet. Leave my name out the shit. So then she gets her off of there, and then I call back in because Quatita's like, all right, Ratchet, I'm dropping the link for you. Call in. So I'm calling up there like, bro, this girl's a liar, bro. Like, what the fuck? She just got up here and said I was disrespecting her kids. No, I dropped the paperwork and proved what I proved. You just got mad. Salute K. Lauren Lee on that five piece. I appreciate you. Salute, salute. God, fucking his eye. You was you fucking Mo3. You lying ass bitch. You a fucking Mo3. You was fucking Mo3. Speak on that shit. You was fucking yellow beasy white hair man. You was fucking yellow beasy white hair man. Tell the fucking truth. You worked with yellow beasy to set Mo3 up. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. You know what the fuck you did? And you riding around in Mo3 car. And you live in Mo3 condo right now. You Stop living bitch. in Mo3 crib right now. Stop, bitch. You you scam that nigga. You stole lying. everything from Mo3. You, you, you stole all his money. You stole his cars. You stole everything from Mo3. Hey, y'all go subscribe to Sapphire's Co Cena. She needs 40 subscribers to get to 1K. Y'all get her up to 1,000. And make sure y'all go watch this video and go over there to Sapphire's Co Cena. Man, she the one who dropped this shit. But this came from Quatita. Salute to Quatita with Sapphire. You know, she put her spin on it and dropped this shit. Salute. You stole everything up, from that man. Can you, you stole can everything from him. Ass, Where is Mo3 properties at? Bitch, why y'all Where Mo3 properties, you properties at? Mo3. You living in Mo3 property? condo right now. Tell, the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the fucking truth. Tell the fucking truth. You living in Mo3 house right now. You want to steal all that man money. Why did you steal all his this money? Mine, Why did you yeah. steal all his money? How do you know I, I was in that shit? I got paperwork on it. Tell, ask her, are you living in Mo3 condo right now? No, I am not. You want- no, I am not. No, I am not. <laughs> Y'all, <laughs> girl, you, you guilty as fuck. You know that, right? You, you, you know you didn't fucked up, right? You know you didn't fucked up, right? Oh, you know you didn't fucked up right. You see, you said you bought the bottle of beer at 1030. Then when I asked you again, you said you bought the bottle of beer at 1130. Continue. Why are you lying? I just proved it on my life. You are lying. This bitch is a liar, Quatita. She lying about everything. You set that 
that man up. What the fuck, you set that man up. Yeah, you set that man up. You living in his fucking crib and you driving his cars. Are those Mo three cars? Are those Mo three cars you're driving? I don't really see an issue with that because she nigga. But why is she lying about it? No, bitch, why are you lying? Yo, why are you lying why about it? Are you driving Mo three cars? All those no, cars are Mo threes. No, I am not. Why the fuck is you posting my car? So those are your So I thought she just said she she said I'm posting her cars and I thought she, I thought these cars didn't exist. I thought the cars didn't exist. I thought I made it up. I thought I was lying. So now you got the cars. You Fucking know where the fuck you at? You at Mo Three Crib. You know I know where you at. You know I know where you at. You at Mo Three Crib. And you're lying about Sapphire. Need uh, five subs, y'all. Hit that subscribe button on her channel. Got it. Yeah, that's the part like, you're lying. Yeah, that's why, and that's why you don't want me to be heard. Exactly. You know what it is. You know what it is, Ashley. You know what you know. I know your smoke. You know I know what you did. You're mad because you was fucking big boogie and you were fucking Cedric out there in Dallas, and Cedric is connected white to yellow beans and Kiwan white. I got pictures of Cedric and Kiwan white. Oh, in that house, I got home. pictures and of Cedric with P1 White. Right. Explain that. Ass, Explain the nigga you fucking with P1 White. Right. Right. Explain that. Her best friend said it. Her best friend said it. Ask her, hey, why your best friend say you was fucking Big Boogie? Why are they saying you fucking Big Exactly. That's she don't want to talk about the truth. She don't want to talk about nothing. You, you don't want to speak. Why did your Why best you friend say? It? Why did your best Why friend you say? Why did your best friend say? Why did your best friend say that? Why did your best friend say that? Like, what does that have Why? to do with Mo Three? Why would she fucking Cedric, uh, Yellow Beezy's right hand man, who's connected right to Kiwan White, and I got it's pictures of him and Kiwan White in that house? Why? Why? Why, Why was you fucking that nigga? Why was you fucking Key? Why was you fucking Cedric? I don't even want to talk to Who is Key Wan White like homeboy? Why nice. was you Get fucking fuck Key Wan White here. homeboy? Why you going mute? You see what I'm saying? I'm asking realistic questions. Why was you? Why was you fucking a nigga? I'm watching with Key Wan White. I He's right next to Key Wan. Why you? Why you on mute to say that? You're lying, and I'm not gonna keep talking to your. So bitch you don't know who Cedric is. You don't know Cedric. Do you know Cedric? Yes or no? You see? She won't answer. No question I ask her. Let me ask you this, Ratchet. So you don't think... So look, y'all. I want y'all to understand something. Notice when I started dropping that information, everybody who was trolling, they ain't here no more. Ashley not in timeout no more. Where Ashley go? Once I start dropping them gems in the Mo3 case, now y'all know I got real... You know I got the real information, the real, real, real... You know I'm, you know I'm tied in now to this shit. You understand what's going on now. You see Rainwater not over here. Rainwater not trolling tonight. Every He's been real serious over here because he knew I'm getting real close and he knew they was going to reach out to me. That's why Rainwater started telling me, look into Siobhan Randall case. Look at the Siobhan. Yeah, because Kiwan White unalive that little girl. I already know. Ashley, where you go? You talking about kids. Why you not talking about the, something that really happened to a kid? Let's talk about what really happened to a kid, Ashley. Let's talk about what Kiwan White did, Ashley. Where you go, Ashley? Man, man, man. Kiwan White about to get life in prison. And when he do, just no ratchet going down as the goat. That the, the, the sisters had nothing to do with it. You think it was Ashley? No, she's connected right with them sisters. Oh, uh, okay. Jade, too. Why Jade? Why is Jade cool with Trap Boy Freddy's girlfriend? Who is Jade? Mo3 Baby Mama. I thought her name was Jasmine. The other girl who kicked who why'd y'all kick Mo3 Mama off the estate? I got oh, all the paperwork. Mean, you and Jade and the other y'all kicked her off. Ashley, you, you booted said, the lady off and said y'all didn't want her on there no more. Now Mo3 Mama broke and Rainwater won't even send her no money, but y'all just ushered Rainwater into the estate. Rain Salute to Sapphire's Cosina for hitting 1K while we was on the live stream. Salute to Sapphire, y'all. Drop them green hearts. Water didn't want Miss Noble on that damn estate. He's been beefing with that lady. I asked him, why won't you go over there and give that lady no money? Oh, all I that call money you didn't marry Caucasian, why you ain't sending Nicole or these kids shit? Why the fuck you ain't did it? Why you kick her off the estate? 
What? Why did y'all kick her off the estate? I got what? Oh, I'm making it up. So y'all didn't kick Miss Noble off the estate now. Now all of a sudden you don't know what I'm talking about. Man, man, man. That's the paperwork. Lie about it. See, she keep going on mute every time I ask her a question. She's scared of me. I don't gotta explain shit to you. Why did you kick her off the estate? Why did you kick Miss Noble off the estate? Why is Miss she's not on the estate no more? You kicked her off and you gave her a settlement. If you got you gave that lady twenty five thousand dollars, twenty four to be exact. You got you gave her twenty four thousand dollars to get to shut the fuck up and get the fuck off the estate. You gave his daddy twenty four thousand dollars and y'all finessed the rest. Where's the y'all didn't put none of Mo three properties on that estate. Y'all didn't put none of Mo three cars on that estate. Y'all didn't put shit in Mo three's name on that estate. So we're all the fucking where's the fucking shit? Where's his estate? Where is the where is the properties in Mexico? Where is the properties in Mexico? Where his properties in Mexico? He left it to his kids. Why? See, she just told on herself. He left it to his kids. All his cars, all his everything is in his. Okay, the estate is the kids. Do we? Are we? Are we not? Is this does not make sense? The estate is for the kids. The mama's supposed to have the money, but it's supposed to be the kids' money. That ain't y'all money, goofy ass bitch. Who the hell? Where in that estate does it say you supposed to be spending more three money? Any of y'all? It says the kids. It says y'all are supposed to hold the money for the kids. Y'all been starting businesses, living lavish, driving his cars, living in his cribs, and lying about it. Kicking the mama off so y'all can have more of the pie. Scandalous. Let's go. I thought, I thought that was the estate. I thought that was the estate. I thought the estate was his kids. I thought the estate was his. I thought the estate was his. I thought the estate was his kids. You you just lied. You said it's you, you said all that is in his kid's name. If that was the case, it will be in the estate. You lying ass motherfucker. You're lying. And she keep going on mute because she's trying to get advice in the background for whoever the fuck she's talking to. This girl is a liar. Ain't nobody in my background. <laughs> and she's laughing. Ain't nobody laughing. She think this shit funny. She's laughing at this. Ashley's sitting there laughing like it's funny. I just, I'm talking about how y'all kicked this woman off the estate and you're laughing. I don't want Ashley, to talk you to know you. I know you're for weeks. You, told before, you told me Mo3 didn't have no uh, uh, movie shoot that day. You definitely told me that. You told me he was on the way to pick his daughter up. You said Rain don't do nothing for them kids. I blocked you three years ago and told you to keep me out your shit. You're a liar, you Ashley. You got to post a screenshot. You, Ashley, you inbox you're me on a liar, you Ashley. On Facebook. Ashley. I, you're a liar. Well, post your receipts because you're the Ashley. only liar. You don't got receipts Ashley. for none of the shit you say. How do you know, Ce how do you know Cedric? Cedric? How do you know 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 Cedric? Post the receipts. No, no, no. How do you know Cedric? I don't know him. Show me the receipts. So you've never met Cedric. So you've never met Cedric before. You've never met Cedric before. How you know Cedric? You've never met Cedric. How you know she was fucking with Cedric? She know. Was you? Just like she know I know she in Mo3 crib and driving his cars. She know I know everything I'm saying is true. Sue You're me. lying. Sue me. If I'm lying, sue I me. I am. Right. 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 Well, let me say this. You and I have already talked about this. I already know. All that information you, you're giving, we, we've had this conversation. So mm -hmm. I'm just asking questions because people is on here listening. And um, I just, you know, giving you an opportunity, you know what I mean? But yeah, we've had this conversation um, already. Um, listen, I just I just play my little role here, over here, on, and do my thing. And I just let people live, you know what I mean? So. So as y'all see, she trying to like diffuse this shit. Like, man, she, ain't, she really ain't trying to have too much to say about it. But at the same time, this shit gonna take a turn for the worst. Understand, it's about, this is just the beginning. This shit finna take a turn for the worse. See, it, the, the bad part ain't me up here doing this because we got nowhere when I was doing this. But it was for a reason. And here it comes. She thought it was safe. But let's continue. Um, how, how, how did you get the information you got, Ratchet? Public records. Once I, got the, once I got the the estate paperwork and I got all the names in the paperwork, we just started running names from that point and started connecting dots. 
And that's how I found out. That's how I found her with Cedric and the rest of them ops with Jerry Johnson. You know who Jerry that's Johnson is. Now. You don't know Jerry Johnson? That's why I'm suing you because you're lying. No. Right, right. It's all alleged, but you know, it is what it is. Why are you lying on me though? Just dry lying on me. It's alleged information, but it is what it is. Why, why do you so think why he's lying, lying on you, Ashley? Because why do you think he he's lying on me? But she just got up there and lied on me. She just mentioned my name with some kids and said it's in paperwork. That's a fucking lie. You just got up there and slandered the fuck out of my name. You just got up there and clearly lied on me, sweetie. I need some pain and suffering in behind this shit. You understand that? You know how they can tarnish my image, those lies you're putting on my name? You know what that can do to me? Those lies you're spreading on me, that slander you're trying? No, those accusations could never fly. You know what would happen if people thought that was true? Oh, I need pain and suffering behind this. I don't even know how I'm going to work throughout this shit. I'm having a mental fucking breakdown here. So you're not in Mo3 Condo? You ain't never stayed in Mo3 Condo? That's a lie. No, I've never stayed in Mo3 Condo. That's a lie. <laughs> I don't drive three cars. That's a lie. <laughs> Were you supposed to be getting your hair done the day that Mo3 got killed? No. She's lying about that. She told me. Oh, my God. This girl is a... Wait, you said she told you what? That's why Mo3 is supposed to be going to pick their daughter if she had something to do that day. That's that's exactly what the fuck she was I doing. didn't even know 3 was here, ma'am. You said you didn't find... Come on. You're a liar, Ashley. Can I say a, something to you, At Ashley? this point, you're a compulsive liar. Yeah. You and I have had the conversation, but you never told me that, right? You nope. never told me that. Nope. I ain't never spoke to you. I just told you that she, he was supposed to be going to pick his daughter up that day. So what do y'all think about this so far? Y'all let me know in the chat how y'all feeling so far. How y'all feeling? Because she about to get she about to get read her rights in just a minute. She already got drugged for dear life. Now she finna get read her rights. She's a liar, bro. I'm telling you, she's a liar, Christina. Listen how she got real quiet. Once I once once that information started getting dropped about Jerry, once Jerry Johnson's name came up, she ain't said a damn word. As soon as I said Jerry Johnson, she ain't said a word. You sick, bro. You something's seriously wrong with you, Ashley. Seriously. Now she's the victim. You just you just got up there and said all that shit you said about kids and me, and and you want to call me sick? You just got up there and dry ass lied on me. Acted like it dropped the paperwork. Then Ashley, well, I'll wait on it. You said you had paperwork. You, you lied. Drop it. You clearly lied on Big Ratchet. Now you want some sympathy. You up there about to cry and shit. No, 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 no. You about to get read your rights. Let's go. You say his mom was supposed to get her hair done. Whose mom? It's it's me, V. Whose mom? Because that's what I keep hearing that that um, you're supposed to be getting your hair done. And that's why I asked the question because I just wanted to understand. No man, he's a liar. Yeah. No, I'm she, not talking about what he said. She ain't listening. She's I'm she's she's lost that. in her own world. She don't even know what's going. She's lost at this point. Ashley, you don't even realize what the fuck you're doing. But no, continue. You don't realize what you're doing. Continue. I'm Nothing's gonna happen. To you. No, nothing I'm is gonna happen. To you. Nothing is gonna happen. To <laughs> continue though. Well, let me ask you this. So what's the other pregnancy? You got three children, Ashley? Uh-oh. Three children? No, I got two. So what's the third pregnancy? Were you having an abortion? Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> wow. She got real quiet there. You having an abortion there, Ashley? But who are you having an abortion by, Ashley? Ashley. Hold on, Ashley. <laughs> salute brown skin girl on that tiny thug membership salute salute oh i forgot to let me mod you up i forgot to give you a my range salute brown skin girl let me mod you up salute salute was that what your best friend was talking about with big boogie i don't know i'm just saying what, what, what I'm <laughs> that's all you know I'm, <laughs> I'm just what I'm okay <laughs> was that what your best friend was talking about with Big Boogie? That was my evil laugh. I don't know. I'm just saying what, what, what I'm doing. 
That's all. Oh, yeah, you know <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm just saying what I'm being. <laughs> That's my evil laugh. You know, I know I got me one. Well, I, you know, I you know I caught me one when you hear that laugh. So, you know what I mean? Ooh, child. Mm, mm, mm. It's a damn shame what they did to that dog. Anything yeah. else? Um, no, nah, I'm going to let no, it rest. I'm going to let it rest. It ain't even my business. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, it's probably time for her to hang it up. Get off it's the internet. My business. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> me either. You still riding around with security? For sure. For sure. Mm. See, and that's me. And no one understands why I asked that question. You see, I'm asking that question for a reason. You're out here acting like you need sympathy money and, and cash apps and donations. When you said your kids ain't broke, they richer than everybody. You richer than everybody. You got more money than everybody. You ride around with security. You ride around paying for security. What you need money for? What do we? What are we? What are we supporting? What, you're rich. Your kids are rich, right? That's what you said. You said everybody rich. What, what the fuck are we? What are we sending donations for? Stop stalking me. I don't even contact you. You you have. I have not contacted you in no way, shape, form, or fashion, sweetheart. But continue. I'm talking about Instagram. Oh, I've, I've never Instagram. contacted you. I've so never did, contacted you. Did, did his mom sign a paperwork? And the paperwork she signed, she only signed it because uh, she was supposed to receive something that she didn't receive. Uh oh. Uh oh. I answer the question, Ashley. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, you're not sure now. You you in the estate, but now you're not sure. I'm not sure about that. Okay. Ooh, I'm in the estate, but I'm not sure about that. So you y'all are the people. Y'all are the go-to people. There is nobody else besides y'all. That's it. It's the baby mamas. Ashley, worst decision you made was talking to me. Well, <laughs> this is quite interesting. Um. The mama did spend, a, she, what was it, 70 or 80K? And y'all got mad about that? That's when y'all kicked her off? Because y'all want to, She don't want to answer none of this shit. That money back? And Coke got to even get them chains back? You know she don't want to answer nothing I'm asking. I'm asking some reasonable questions. This is goat talk right now. This is goat talk. This is the goat talking to y'all right now. I know a lot of y'all don't like me. Fuck you. It is what it is. This is the goat talking right now. Let's go. I don't have one of the cars. You put the car in somebody else's name? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. See how uh, Quatita up there reading her her rights. She talking about that car. You, you've you been selling Mo3 cars, allegedly. You've been out here selling Mo3 cars. Y'all living in his properties, renting out his properties. Oh, y'all making a lot of money off, the, off Melvin's name. Poor, poor Melvin, man. Where is it? Where's the car at? Who's the? Did you sell it or did you put it in somebody else's name? I've never had one of three cars. Notice she ain't got that same spunk in her voice no more. She ain't got that spunk. Y'all know what I'm talking about? That 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 thing she was doing at first. That little spunkiness. She ain't got that no more. Only the car he brought me. Now she crying and shit. So did uh, Miss Noble ever return that money that she took from the estate? Because you said I lied about all this because I didn't lie about nothing. I showed paperwork. She took money from the estate. That's facts. Do you have the, the is it a little car? The car that you have is the little car? Mm -mm. I don't have, I didn't have a little car. So what's the two cars? Somebody's name was on the car like somebody somebody sold the car put the somebody else's name on the vehicle like is, is somebody i'm not saying a shoe i'm just trying to understand like is somebody hiding some of it or hiding it mm, i don't know <laughs> she don't know I thought she didn't know what car she was talking about. What you? I don't know. She, you getting you you answering real? Mm, I don't know. You ain't you ain't really. 
The answer, the answers ain't answering right now. <sighs> you can't make this shit up. You all right over there, Ashley? You sound like you're kind of scraping and scrambling. No, you're scraping and scrambling. So where's the car? I don't own none of three cars. I don't have none of three cars. Did you do real estate at any point? Salute Tia for that 10 piece on Cash App. I appreciate you, Tia. Salute, salute. <laughs> I got you, Ashley. That's what that's why the property's not in the three name, because it was in yours. And Keyless. <laughs> well, I'm confused. So did you and Mo y'all pick the car out together? Mm -mm. <sighs> this girl right here, man. Well, then elaborate. You just said mm-mm. Hmm. It got real quiet. I don't know. <laughs> Salute to uh G Mac. G Mac says, Trust not a woman when she weeps, for it's it is her nature to weep when she wants her will. Hey, salute. I appreciate you. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you got her ass, Queen. Do you, do you know that he be that he be lying? Quatita, Quatita, Quatita. He did it again. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't. I know that he and I have had a conversation about certain things, but the things that I'm asking you about, him and I have not had that conversation because I don't even know if he knows anything. I don't about know what the fuck you're talking about. I have no you know idea. That they, and I didn't know what she was talking about, but you see how she's like, you know, you know, he be lying. I'm going to tell you right now, Cortita does not look at Ratchet TV like a liar. She won't get on her live and say, nah, that dude be capping. She has had conversations with me behind the scenes. So all y'all who think me and her don't fuck with each other, me and Cortita have sat there for hours recently and talked. We, we've sat there and, and just went over shit. And she knows that I ain't against her because we've I've never even got up here and talked about the things. You know what I'm saying? She knows I've left a lot of shit. Me and Quotita, we good. Let me just put, she agrees with me on the Mo3 case. Let me just put it like that. He keeps showing me a car. I don't know if it's red or what color it is, but I know it's a small car and he keeps talking about the car was put in somebody else's name. Ain't that the car he had up in Indianapolis with seven? Yeah, where is that car at? Ashley? You know the car I'm talking about, right? Yeah, there? red car he had up in Indianapolis. Yeah. But they said they drove a Sprinter, but Mo3 was out there in his own car. And then Rain said they flew. So where's that? Where's right that? Seven, Whatever happened? No, he had the same outfit on in Indianapolis. The red car that matched the red shit he had on when he had all his chains on. He had a long sleeve, red, black, and gray shirt. Am I lying? Am I making this up for Ratchet Gang? He took a picture in front of the camera on his Instagram. And you, you so that, what, that wasn't Mo3 car? No. Okay. Stop lying. So where is all his that cars? Shit, How many? Motor said he had twenty cars, and that estate had none. It's none of your business. <laughs> Notice every time she lying, she says it's none of your business. She she uh, she uh, evades every question by saying it's none of your business. All I know is the <laughs> car that he keeps showing me. It, it looks like it's a kind of a small car, like. And and it, he keeps showing me a red car. He keeps saying that the car was put in a nigga's name. It's not a woman's name. It's a man's name. And he keeps repeating that to me. So I don't know what car he's talking about because I don't know. I just know he keeps saying that. Um, and, that you know, that his mom signed the papers and some papers she had to sign or something. And she only signed it. So um, because she thought she was helping and she it wasn't even about money for her. She just thought she was helping. But I feel like it like fucked her up in the end or something. So. I don't even know what that is because you said you can't validate that for me, you know. You still got that G-Wagon? The Maserati? The Porsche? 
the BMW. What happened to all your how you get out of them cars, Ashley? Well, I don't have none of those. Cars. So we're you just took pictures in front of people's cars or what? Then when your cars, you were just taking pictures in front of people, shit or what? That's helping me. That's not. That's the public information. How? That's not stalking. Those are public information. Those are public pictures that you posted that other people have definitely went over. So I'm asking you, whose cars were those? It's not, that's none of your business. Like, why are you? Why are you stalking me to be? That's posting not. That's cars? that is not stalking. You posted. You posted public it pictures. Doesn't you're mad at people from going over matter. public pictures. Like that's public. Like you put it on because public. You're lying. That's lying. not like so I'm so I made that up. You didn't you didn't take a picture in front of a G-Wagon, a Porsche, a BMW. You didn't post none of this shit. So I'm making this up. I've never took a picture in front of a G-Wagon. Okay, there was Jade. So you didn't take a picture in front of the rest of the cars. Mm -hmm. So you didn't take a picture in front of the Porsche, you didn't take a picture in front of the Mercedes, the BMW. Anything else, um, let's see this. Answer nope. that question. You so I'm lying about that. You didn't take a picture in front of these cars. Who cars was those, Ashley? I'm not making this up. You know this is this is right. I just, I, I, just I just showed it on my it's live crazy. right now. I literally it's just crazy. showed it. <laughs> this lady is foolish. Okay, I made it up. You're right. Fuck it. You're sick. Yeah. Fuck it. You're right. Well, I don't have nothing. I'm gonna let y'all go because uh... gratitude, ratchet. Salute, Quatita. You gotcha. already know. We will be talking later. I will talk all to right. you. Later. Hey, Ashley, you take care of yourself, all right? You I'm very blessed. All right, we are. I'm very blessed. Hey, you know, Ratchet Gang, over on this side, we're going to get that truth out. So we know why you want to talk with us, but I think the worst decision you made was doing this right here. You know they're going to eat your ass alive today. Salute to Quatina the Queen. I'm out. <laughs> Y'all know what it is. Salute to Sapphire's Cosina. Salute to Sapphire's Cosina. Y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to Sapphire's Cosina. She hit her thousand marks. Salute to her for that. Now. Ratchet gang, ratchet gang, ratchet. They just hit me up. Oh, also something else I left out about the paperwork. And what do y'all think about the uh, Ashley shit? Y'all tell me in the chat. Something else that I left out about uh, the person that hit me up about what was going on with this paperwork and stuff. Okay, listen. Rainwater. Come on here and tell me I'm lying. Rainwater, why you keep getting caught with cocaine? You see, they keep knocking this part off because they're protecting you. They said Rainwater has been pulled over with possession of cocaine several times but they can't keep protecting him and they told rainwater we can't protect you no more if you get caught with, with it one more time rainwater has a problem this came from the person that sent me that information rainwater has a cocaine problem and he needs to stop with the with the issue because that's going to get him caught up and that's what the re when rain gets caught up and you're going to see he's going to get a possession charge here because he can't stay away from it. And they monitoring him and he keeps getting caught with it. He keeps getting pulled over, but that's the charge they keep not talking about because those are made, they're making those charges go away. Rain is being protected, but they can only protect him so much because Rainwater real loose and they don't trust Rainwater. But Rainwater is the one who went and got their footage. Allegedly, Rainwater is the one who went over there and got that footage from the Mexican lady, the neighbor. Y'all see the girls ain't, you see nobody is in this chat trolling me tonight. Notice that. Notice all them people used to be in here, man, Ratchet, what you got going on? You over here? Nah, y'all ain't saying that tonight, are you? Y'all not saying that tonight after I didn't show y'all, I got Keywan White notebook. Keywan White. Why did you write a diss song to Boosie while you was incarcerated and detail how you and your homeboy shot Boosie? You tried to kill Boosie. Allegedly, Kiwan White, man, 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 Armani Rose, you got some answering to do. Armani Rose, you're under federal investigation, man. Now get up here and tell me I'm lying, Armani Rose. I want you to get up here and tell me I'm lying, Armani Rose, because we know about this, man, man, man. <clears throat> Remember the anonymous suspect? Now understand, these are redacted. But this person has the unredacted shit of how they picked up Wooty Wooty with Detective Anderson. The time y'all see y'all remember all this. Remember this? 
paperwork that we presented a while back. But man, man, man. So let's go over some of this shit. As you see, remember they was receiving those anonymous calls. Now, understand, I was right about this. The anonymous calls they were receiving, the sisters, y'all are the ones who've been cooperating this whole time. You see, T topics and shit. Let me tell y'all something. I'm a, I'm gonna be real with y'all, and I'm gonna give y'all one warning, and I uh, and it's gonna be destruction after that. This is a warning before destruction. T topics eighty eight. Jackie, Jossie, Jasmine, listen to me. Stay the fuck off the internet. It's over. Listen to me. If y'all see people beyond this point on the internet, just, just know I, I warned them. I'm telling y'all it's about to happen. Jackie, Jossie, and, ja and Jasmine, y'all are not safe. You think you are, but all of y'all are about to go to jail. Y'all think I've been capping about all this. Just know I got word today. Y'all ain't safe. I can't tell you what, what's about to happen to y'all. I know what's about to happen. I'm not even going to get into detail. Just I'm telling y'all, my only warning to each and every one of y'all, I'm talking to 88, Jasmine, Jackie, and Jossie, and T-Topics. Stay off the internet. All of y'all are under investigation. You can take my word for it or you can not take my word for it. They've been tracking y'all down, phone numbers, emails. They know about the CPNs. I didn't have to call nobody and tell them nothing. I'm just saying they was telling me about the CPNs. They know about it. They was like, everything you got is on point. We know about all the CPNs, the scamming. We know what Jackie got going on. They don't need me to, to snitch on you, Jackie. They don't need me to get To be real, they don't need me for a lot of shit right now. They got some, they got some of y'all dead to rights. <clears throat> so if I was some of y'all, I would really shut the fuck up. If I was some of y'all, I would get all the way off the internet. Now... Like I said, how am I getting my hands on this shit? An officer with the Lancaster Police Department attempted to conduct a traffic stop on White, and he was on a dirt bike road. Uh, he was on a dirt bike on the road despite the bike, the bike not being legal. White did not immediately stop, continued to drive in circles, and failed to yield. An officer, despite the officer operating a fully marked police vehicle with sirens, and lights uh, activated. White eventually dumped the bike and fled on foot. He began reaching into his pants pocket with both both hands and clutching his pocket. White eventually tripped over bushes and was taken into custody. Officers located FN S93 nine millimeter handgun serial number whoop de whoop de whoop in White's pants pocket. The firearm was loaded, but no round of the ammunition was chambered. White told officers that he was trying to get rid of the firearm and that he was not trying to pull the firearm on the officers. White was released on bond on August 18th, 2020. He was charged with unlawful possession of a firearm by a felon and unauthorized use of a motor vehicle. And uh, whoop -de whoop -de whoop on November 11th, Dallas Police Department officers responded to a shooting on the Interstate Highway 35 during the daylight hours, officers located Melvin Noble and determined that he was the victim of a shooting. Numerous witnesses advised that he was shot by an unknown suspect with a rifle who fled in a vehicle. Noble was transported to the hospital where he was pronounced deceased. A bystander was also shot during an investigation. Detectives were contacted by a witness regarding White's involvement in the offense. Detectives obtained multiple pieces of digital electronic evidence that placed White in the vicinity prior to and during the murder. White was subsequently charged uh, with the murder of Noble and with the aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, Randall Graham of Randall Graham. So he was he was charged with Randall Graham assault with a deadly weapon on Randall Graham. Randall Graham is now in jail, but they can't find him. If you look up Randall Graham, nobody in this room will be able to find him. Now, I'm going to challenge everybody and, and to the good paperwork finders. But I'm going to tell you all right now, ain't nobody better at getting paperwork than me. There ain't nobody better at getting it than me. I get my hands on everything because I talk to the people who actually produce the paperwork. That's the difference. I don't got to go look for it. I talk to the people who, who, are, who have it in their hands. I don't got to go look for it. The people who get it, give it to me. 
So what the hell I gotta go look for? That's how that's how that's how easy this shit is for me. Anyway, more and more and more. Let's continue. Uh let's see. Based on information received from a witness that will not be disclosed at this time for their safety and technical and technology uh, evidence, it is believed that suspect Key Warren White uh committed the offense. And remember, I told y'all that snitch, the snitch is the sisters. The sisters gave this up. They gave up Key Warren and Devin. So we already had this a while back, but allegedly, and salute Crystal Cole for that honey bun. Honey bun, won't you do some for me? Ratchet, you getting your Sherlock Holmes on tonight? Ooh, cha. Ooh, cha. Let's get to it, Crystal Cove. I appreciate that, uh, honey bun. I appreciate you. But look, the snitch is the girls. The snitch is the girls. Let's see. On Wednesday, approximately, officers responded. Let's see. Officers responded to a shooting on South of Freeway with the, with the woo. Numerous witnesses were forced to stop in traffic on the freeway. Numerous witnesses. Where are all these witnesses? Observed a suspect with a face covered. Uh, chase and shoot complaint noble with the rifle after shooting. The suspect white fled in a black Chevy Camaro northbound from the offense location. Suspect white firearm mo fired multiple rounds into the citizen's vehicle. Citizens were struck with witness Graham, who actually was injured by a bullet fragment while seated in the vehicle. Complaint noble was transported to Methodist Hospital, where he was pronounced deceased. Detective Anderson, along with detectives, responded to the crime scene, interviewed several witnesses. Crime scene responded, processed the scene, and uh, collected evidence. A witness nearby vehicle provided dash cam video of the shooting. Y'all hear that? A witness in a nearby vehicle provided dash camera video of the shooting. See, why nobody, y'all don't got this. They got dash cam footage of the shit. A witness was interviewed and stated that suspect Devin Brown was upset over a relationship that involved complaint noble and a witness. The witness informed detectives that suspect Brown and Brown, uh, Devin Brown Jr., also known as Chicago. I'm going to tell you what his name is. His name is Chicago. And they didn't, I don't know why they redacted his name, but Chicago, uh, he contacted a juvenile witness by phone multiple times prior to the murder. The witness learned that during the phone call, suspect Devin Brown asked the juvenile witness if Complaint Noble was still at the was at the location. You know how he knew? Because Jossie is the one who gave the original drop. Then they tried to put it on the kid. J Jossie had already gave the drop, allegedly. Let me see what this is calling in. Who is it? I don't even believe this is who. Hold on. Let me see if this is. I don't know who the hell this is. Hold on. Give me a second. Let me see who the hell this is trying to call in real quick. I don't know who the fuck this is. Hold on. Give me a second, y'all. Who is this? Hey, Jackie's going to jail. This is my time to tell you, man. She's going to jail, bro. She's going to jail. Hey, she's going to jail, man. Oh, yeah, man. You sound like you calling from a space shuttle or something, man. I, he said she going to jail. I don't even know how the hell you got the link. Uh, call back in later, man. I'm going to get ready. Get, let me get back to this. What the hell you call? It sound like you calling in from a space shuttle or some shit. Anyway, uh, they said he was mad over the, the, the witness. Uh, learned that during the phone call, suspect Devin Brown asked the juvenile witness if Complaint Noble was at the was at the location. The witness provided the phone number the suspect Devin Brown used to contact the witness. On November 13th, Detective Eric Barnes was provided evidence of call logs that showed suspect Brown's phone number the day prior in the morning of the offense. Research conducted on the phone number showed that it belonged to suspect Devin Brown. Suspect Devin Brown was arrested by federal arrest warrant at whatever. Whatever suspect Devin Brown was transported to Dallas headquarters and interviewed by Detective Anderson. Suspect Devin Brown confirmed that he had recently learned the complaint noble uh, and the known witness were dating. Suspect Devin Brown stated that the day of the offense, he called the juvenile witness in the morning but denied involvement in the offense. Suspect Devin Brown admitted that he was upset over a recent Facebook video involving complainant Noble. Allegedly. Not allegedly. But you know. Whatever. Let's see. On November 23rd, officers with the Mount Pleasant Police Department conducted a traffic stop on a vehicle by White. 
The vehicle was traveling 110 miles per hour in an area of speed limit with 75 miles per hour. An officer noticed a firearm in plain view behind the front seat in the vehicle. The vehicle was occupied by White and an adult female, Aaliyah Williams. White did not have his driver's license or proof of insurance. There was a strong odor of marijuana emitting from the vehicle. And White advised uh, that he had smoked marijuana prior to the traffic stop. An officer observed a second firearm in plain view on the passenger front floorboard. Officers conducted a probable cause search of the vehicle, which revealed the firearm on the front floorboard was a loaded Taurus model G. C2 9 millimeter caliber pistol serial number. The firearm uh, behind the passenger seat, an AK 47 style Pioneer Arms model uh, caliber rifle, which contained a high capacity magazine loaded with 61 rounds of ammunition. In the back seat of the vehicle, officers located a backpack containing two large bags of marijuana, uh, THC, edibles, plastic containers, promethazine, uh, loose U.S. currency, in multiple. Uh, whatever, whatever officers located, uh, Glock and capacity 40 caliber magazine, a dummy grenade, a digital scale and round of ammunition. Uh, the search also revealed a stolen Glock model caliber pistol. White was found to have two large bundles of U S currency in his pants pockets, a record, a record search of the vehicle identification number being revealed the vehicle was stolen out, out of Dallas. In a post-arrest interview, White stated that he borrowed the vehicle from a friend the night before and he did not know the vehicle was stolen. He advised the Glock firearm was already in the vehicle when he got it, but he did not claim ownership but he did claim ownership of the Taurus pistol and the rifle. He admitted he was a convicted felon and he knew he could not legally possess firearms. White also claimed ownership of the narcotics and the paraphernalia in the vehicle. White was charged with money laundering greater than equal to 2,500, less than 30,000. Now, let me stop right there. They have also froze. Oh, let me. And how do I know this, too? I forgot about this part. They have since frozen all of Kiwan's accounts. Kiwan can't get money from anywhere. Try to send Kiwan money right now. You know why? Because Kiwan White was getting $5,000 a month in an account, and they froze the account. But someone who's free has been putting money in Kiwan's account. And it went from $250,000 to $300,000 in, in this account. Kiwan White can't touch the money. He knows he can't. Because he knows they're on it. He can't touch the money. No one, the, the accounts are all frozen. All Kiwan's accounts are frozen. He can't get money. But someone has been putting money in an account for Kiwan White. And the feds got it. So, Kiwan, I hope you're listening. They got it. They got everything. That $300,000 that you got for taking out Mo3, you'll never see it. You got $300,000. Get that Mo3. And you receive $300,000 to take Mo3 out. But you'll never touch the money, Kiwan. You'll never touch the money. And whoever's behind sending that money, they're on it. And they said they about to, it's going to be some more names coming real soon. Just know this. Some, there's a big name that's going to drop real soon. And it's over. 2024, somebody out of there. And it might be Yellow Beezy. But anyway, <clears throat> according to uh, whatever, whatever on November 23rd, 2020, it, White admitted to white admitted and stipulated that he knowingly and unlawfully possessed the above firearms he admitted that he uh that the offense involved three to seven firearms one firearm was stolen and that he used possessed any firearm ammunition in collection with any other felony case possession with the intent to distribute controlled substance substance he admitted and stipulated that he possessed approximately one pound of marijuana 20 individual bags of thc edibles approximately four pounds of promethazine uh, a set of digital scales and nine thousand six hundred and seventy dollars in U.S. currency. Man, man, man! Like I said, I got my hands on all this shit, man. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I right, hold on. Where the fuck was I? I? I've been losing my damn. Where the fuck was I? At? Uh. Let's see. Okay, I, I'm losing my damn. I'm losing where the hell I was at. Okay, my bad, y'all. I'm over here losing control of where the fuck I was at. All right, was this where I was at? Was this where I was at? Oh, no. Not right there. My bad. All this shit look alike. 
all this shit look alike. All right, anyway. Man, man, man. August 16th, an officer with the Lancaster Police Department attempted to conduct a traffic stop on while driving the bike on road despite the bike not... I think I already read this. Oh, yeah, I did read that part. Okay, I read that. My bad, John. I'm trying to remember where the fuck I was at. All right. Man, man, man. Man, man, man. But, yeah, this is all Kiwan White's paperwork. Uh, victim impact. whoop de whoop de whoop this is all Kiwan White's motherfucking paperwork that a lot of people ain't going to ever be able to get their hands on. I'm going to be real. A lot of y'all ain't going to never get to get your hands on this paperwork. But I got it all. Like, as you see, I got all this shit. They was hitting me. They were just sending me everything. Everything on this dude. Man, man, man. As I'm just showing y'all everything I got on this shit, man. I got a lot of paperwork on Kiwan White. Uh, here we go. Uh, burglary of a habitation. Uh, the defendant, because according to the impact report on May 24, 2015, <laughs> officers dispatched to a burglary. The victim reported that someone entered her residence while she was away and broken her rear window in the home. She reported that she was missing two iPads. Uh, flat screen television, desktop computer, seven cosmetic rings, 30 necklaces, 12 watches, 12 sets of earrings, four dollars and change and a pearl set earrings and a necklace. The back door was found to have been left open as well in the alleyway directly behind the residence. Officers located a computer screen with the mouse and the keyboard, the flat screen television, two PlayStation, three games, nine bottles of perfume, which the victim stated were also hers. On the same day, two men were flagged down. Flagged down officers reported that two juveniles walking with stuffed backpacks and a laptop. The men saw the juveniles walk by before the empty backpack. No laptop officers observed the juvenile enter the residence, uh, which was the residence of a known burglar. Uh, the owner of the residence allowed officers to enter and search the garage, revealed a backpack that contained a PlayStation 3, two iPads, a large amount of jewelry. The owner of the residence led officers to her son's bedroom and identified that did not belong to her. Officers collected several pairs of shoes, uh, cell phones, Louis Vuitton, purse full of jewelry, cologne. This dude is a career criminal. Who is this trying to call in my life? Who is it? Mob Ties Tate, man, stop calling in, bro. Call in later, bro. I'm I'm busy. Call in later. Call in later. We are dropping paperwork right now, man. I ain't got time for you right now, bro. Man, man, man. So as you see, I got all this shit on this dude, man. Money laundering, possession of a controlled substance, all this shit on this dude. Kiwan White, let me tell y'all something. This dude is about to he's about to never see the light of day again. I just got so much shit on all... Look, I, I, I got so many files on Kiwan White. It ain't even funny, bro. All of them. They was just sending me everything on Kiwan White. Rainwater, Kiwan White. I know I got all y'all shit, bro. Look at this shit, man. I even got his... his I even got his... uh paperwork that states about his mental illness his drug use Kiwan white was a drug addict he had he had issues with a lot of shit bro like he has a history of using marijuana meth and coke and public records check revealed defendant's mother has prior felony convictions for drug possession salute to uh brown skin girl for that 10 piece i appreciate you his mom ain't never been there for you uh she was in drug possession in 2020 uh an unspecified charge in 2021 he explained that there would be times when he there was no food in his house and his mother would sometimes be gone all night and return home high on drugs so he would have to take his sister to school the defendant stated uh he started getting in trouble after he moved in with his mother he resided in a dangerous neighborhood where there were drugs, murders, and gangs, and he saw other people get shot growing up. Ms. Smith confirmed that the defendant's mother, the defendant's father, was never involved in his life. Ms. Smith advised that the defendant's material needs uh, were met when he was with his grandparents. She indicated that defendant's mother was in and out of jail and did not provide him with a stable situation. 
uh, indicated that the defendant's mother reported that the defendant was never met to or talked to or lived with his father. His father's name was listed as Lavelle White. The report noted that the defendant and his mother had a poor relationship with each other. Uh, the defendant's mother uh, said he was hard headed and did not like to listen. The defendant uh, reported that he and his mother hardly spent time together. Uh, the defendant's mother advised that the defendant chose to spend much of his free time with his peers. The defendant's mother stated that she had problems with the defendant violating curfew, running away from home, skipping school, associating with negative peers and being argumentative at home. Has anyone seen this paperwork from Kiwan? Has anybody seen this shit? Tell me, drop the gems if you've already seen this what I'm showing y'all. I don't believe anybody's seen like his mental health and his family. I don't, I don't know if nobody's seen this shit. The defendant is single and has never been married. Or drop the drop the eyeballs if y'all ain't seen. Drop the eyeballs if y'all don't know what the hell going on. Just drop the eyeballs if y'all just like, man, I'm glued right now, bro. I'm just glued. I don't know what it is, but it's loose. Because I got I got that dope for y'all tonight. I mean, Kiwan, you know, he like dope, but I got that, you know, YouTube dope for y'all. <laughs> but they say he indicated that he was previously in a short-term relationship with Ema. Last name is unknown. Who the hell is Emia? Uh, and this relationship produced one child, Malaysia Nicole White, age three, who resides with uh, Emia's aunt, Nisha. Man, man, man. They said, or Naisha. Uh, and they conduct video calls with each other. Defendants stated, hold on. Give me this. Okay. Okay, okay. I got this. All right. <clears throat> Let's say uh, who resides with Emia's aunt, Naisha, in Mesquite. The defendant advised he talks with his daughter on a regular basis and they conduct video calls with each other. The defendant stated he is not ordered to pay child support for Malaysia. Miss Smith verified that the defendant has a daughter, but she was unable to recall her name. She stated that the defendant loves his daughter, but she was unsure of how much they communicate. Uh, in an interview, whatever, they denied having any current gang affiliation. He advised that he was previously a member of the 49 Kings Bloods, but is no longer active. Uh, the defendant reported that he was a member of the fly shit only and player shit only gangs. The defendant advised that one time in instant, uh, one time in 2019, he resided at 2214 Belknap in Dallas, Texas. His mother and cousins, he indicated that he was unsure he was he was unsure where he will reside after his release from custody, but expects to live in Dallas area. The defendant stands five foot nine inches tall and weighs approximately 220 pounds. He has a birthmark on the left thigh and a scar on his chin. According to his National Crime Information Center report, he also has scars on his chest and left arm. Uh, the following is a non whatever list of the defendant's tattoos. Man, 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 man. I'm talking about, man, this shit is, this shit is loose, y'all. I see a lot of people ain't seen that. They're like, man, I ain't never seen this. I know nobody ain't seen this shit. This is mental illness, mental health report and shit. Now, his face, he has a crown, FGC, RRM, Journey, Maya, Triple D sign, Money sign, Benzo, Castle Heart with music notes and 214 on his chest. Right arm has a woman's face, Monopoly man, red rum, Monopoly woman, firearm, dice, mom, and Amy. Right hand has born paid, RIP, fresh, Ducky P. Or, it's a Ducky B. What the hell? Uh, left arm has boxing gloves, bull, Mercedes Benz logo, Louis Vuitton logo, Puma logo, ESPN logo, what, what? Bentley logo, Playboy Bunny, heart with Mike T. Mike T, huh? And Sandra, Mike T. Now, Mike T is the person who is in jail for unaliving Siobhan Randall, allegedly. That's one of the people involved in Siobhan Randall's case. Mike T, he tatted on his, uh, he tatted on his, he tatted it on his left arm after Siobhan Randall died, allegedly. After she was unalived. That's one of the people who's tied into that case. So Mike T, salute to, uh, salute to Adelpha on that twenty piece. I appreciate you. Uh, let's see. 
and uh, on his left hand he has ivy and a heart on his right leg he has a monopoly man the left leg he has stewie from the family guy and a woman with a firearm this dude has some questionable tattoos man 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 but anyway uh the defendant advised that he has suffered from asthma since he was a child and is currently prescribed an inhaler records from the kaufman uh county detention center and the fashion county and the fannin county jail where the defendant was previously detained confirmed the defendant has asthma and it and uses an inhaler mental and emotional health the defendant reported the diagnosis of hyperactivity disorder he has adhd when he started school the defendant was reported that he was treated by dallas metro care services in high school for behavioral issues salute to stephanie for that 10 piece on cash app salute and anger issues the uh, report indicated that the defendant referred to the dallas metro care from 21 to 2011 to 2015 due to his continued history of acting out at school and in the home the defendant's mother reported that the defendant received monthly evaluations and that he had been on medication uh the defendant's mother indicated that he was diagnosed with adhd at the age of nine According to Lancaster Police report on July 4, 2015, officers was dispatched to a residence regarding domestic disturbance. The defendant's mother stated that she told the defendant to leave the residence because he was being disrespectful and breaking things in the residence. The defendant kept calling 911, stating he was fighting with his mother and did not want to be there anymore. The defendant was yelling and screaming at his mother, and he ran up to her several times. In addition to breaking items at the residence, the defendant then kicked in the front door kicked in the front door of the residence and refused to calm down the defendant's mother stated that he was under the care of a psychiatrist and that he had not taken his medication that day the defendant was taken into protective custody because he was becoming increasingly aggressive and out of control threatening to cause harm to his mother he was transported to timberlawn psychiatric hospital in dallas texas for mental evaluation the timberlawn psychiatric hospital is now uh, permanently closed so no records could be obtained of this report man 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 this dude tried to he tried to take out his own mama this dude is out of there bro he tried to take out his own mama man kiwan bro you out of there dog so again you see substance abuse alcohol marijuana promethazine pcp adderall uh age he first used alcohol at the age of eight he first used marijuana at the age of 12 occasionally he would drink he daily prior to arrest all day every day he said marijuana promethazine daily prior to arrest sometimes combined with codeine pcp he tried it once adderall daily for this period the defendant uh, indicated that he first used synthetic marijuana so he was smoking k2 since age 16 and two months prior to his arrest the defendant expressed interest in receiving substance abuse treatment. He noticed he participated in outpatient substance program as a juvenile. So this dude was a complete and utter drug addict. This dude was a complete and utter drug addict. PCP, bro. Man, man, man. Based upon total offenses, level of 25, criminal history, category of V and guidance uh, range is 100 months to 125 months. However, the statutory authorized maximum sentence of 10 years is less than the maximum of the guidance range. Therefore, the uh, guideline range is 100 months to 120 months. Uh, man, this. So as you see, this is basically them going over what the fuck they trying to. They trying to they trying to get his ass. He ain't coming home. I'm just going to be real with you. Kiwan White ain't coming home, bro. The shit they got on this dude. He ain't coming back. You can just bet your bottom dollar Kiwan White ain't coming back. And how did Ratchet TV get his hands on all of Kiwan White's paperwork, including everything? Look at this. Everything, man. Total offense level, criminal history, category, custody. Uh, look at this. Your supervised lease probation. Woo -doo, woo -doo, woo. This dude, look, how did how did Ratchet TV get all this shit, man? Like how did how do you get your hands on this shit? You know what I'm saying? Like I said, man, Kiwan White in the city of Dallas is in the uproar right now. Y'all got to be in the uproar because Ratchet TV, 
now got his hands and now is in complete contact with the person and the persons, the team of people that are about to take all y'all down. They've been hitting me up. They've been hitting me up, showing me what they got on all y'all. They're keep who is that? There go, there go Cedric and uh Kiwan right there. Come on, man. They got y'all boys. They got y'all. Cedric, you've been talking to Kiwan while you've been locked up, brother. <sighs> man, 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 man. Kiwan, White, and Cedric. I thought y'all didn't know each other. You think the feds don't got y'all? You think the feds don't got y'all? How Ratchet TV getting everything? I don't think he cares. Give me time on Saturday. I have everything in order for you. So everything will be in order on Saturday. I'll have everything. They just text me and said, I'll have everything by Saturday. Everything by Saturday. Randall G. But he is locked up. Okay, I got you. I'm just getting some. That shows proof of a paid hit. And sisters admitted that Kiwan needed the money on live. See? The feds got that live y'all did already. Even though y'all deleted it, they hitting me up right now and saying, y'all already admitted that Kiwan needed the money on live. Uh, I believe Sweet Pea said that. Y'all can correct me in the chat. Wasn't that Sweet Pea that said they needed the money on live? They just text me right now and said, we already got the, them admitting Kiwan needed that money. We know it was a paid hit. The hit has already been paid. Them girls going to jail. Y'all out of there. Y'all going to jail. They are y'all that live y'all did. They documented it and saved it. It, it that dude, that bitch ass nigga might have deleted it, but oh, he's out of there too. Oh, you ain't safe, uh, little Calvin. Oh, you not safe. They watch they oh, they watching you. Rain is lining you up, sir. Listen to me. I don't give a fuck if you don't like me. Who gives a fuck? I hope you don't listen to me. But I'm gonna warn you too. You're about to go to jail, sir. Rain is lining you up sir rain is a fed calvin listen to me bro whatever you're doing stop it the nigga is a fed bro listen to me one more time this is this your boy ratchet talking to you fam the nigga rain is a fed bro stop whatever the fuck you're doing my nigga you're out of there just stop it i know we've been whooped i know but hey this shit is getting serious and somebody finna it's finna be bodies dropping and people getting popped and i mean popped by the police they finna be up out of here it's, it's a lot finna happen so just listen to me and i i, I just remember when when you in that cell ratchet told me to stop fucking with that dude right he told me to stop fucking with rain all right but yeah kiwan white and, and cedric been kicking it that y'all they already in the cedric ain't getting out of jail cedric is done yellow beasy your right hand man gonna give you up dog Kiwan ain't going to have no choice but to give you up in the end. Kiwan White going to get offered one more deal. Kiwan White can still take down the rest of GRC. They don't need him. But if he cooperates, it might go a little better for Kiwan. It might. He's actually from Chicago, and he was M-worded at the age of 14. They said someone took advantage of him at the age of 14. So I'm not sure. I guess a family member might have blanked him. Kiwan White was blanked at the age of 14. Y'all can fill in the blanks, but I don't want to say it on the channel. He was a minor, so. He tried to blank himself over 20 times. They said Kiwan White has tried to unalive un 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 himself over 20 times. Kiwan White, again, here go that house that I've been showing y'all about. That's the same house right there. Look, yellow. They got you, bro. That's the same house Kiwan, Devin Brown, all them boys, y'all GRC'd up in that motherfucker. That's where all the promethazine come. Yellow, you remember when they got you with that promethazine and they let you go? Why you think they let you go and they, they picked the rest of y'all up? Yellow, you about to crash out, brother. It's over for you. Look at this. This is the same house, bro. They got everything. They don't even need me no more. I mean, they need me to do another job for them. I'm just here to line the rest of y'all up, allegedly. I'm going to get all y'all ass. They just know I'm going to be the one that's, that, that's going to do it. They just know I'm going to be the one. I'm rocking with it. I'm, I'm down to expose all these motherfuckers. Let's, let's lock them all up. They know I'm with it. So look, all y'all asses is going to jail. All of y'all. It's over. 
the jig is up. Keywan White is fixing to get life. Keywan White is about to get life in prison. Mark my words. Mark my words. How am I getting this? How am I getting this, Keywan? This is your, this came from your book. They took my sticks away. Now who gonna protect me from them streets? I stiff all my partners, and now it's getting hard to breathe. I know I ain't have no choice. They system tried me to the boy. What? I know I ain't play with toys trying to get money since a little boy. I was rolling around in stolen cars like this my shit. It was just me and something in the streets. Something me ugly. I got to go to church and play the drums till my head hurt. Don't say you love me now because you was when I was, where was you when I was down? People say they went, people say they won't go, ch go change, but then they change with that the frank i don't i can't read this shit all my old bros they done turned lame now i'm up don't give a fuck i kept it real you switched up so when i'm out just know you fucked huh who he talking about how i'm in the something can't even something about my style now a nigga i'm the shit but they, they i can't read this dude writing bro i'm just a chosen child can't even something about my style this dude can't rap either for shit but he basically mad because he in there and he gonna he gonna get somebody when he get out he's saying he gonna he gonna get somebody when he get i can't read this dude sloppy ass handwriting but key one you know this is your shit ask yourself how did how's ratchet getting all your shit how's ratchet getting all this key one this is all your shit this is all you key one this is all yours. How is Ratchet TV getting his hands on all your notes? I got the I got your book, Kiwan. Kiwan, Armani Rose is going to jail, sir. Armani, you know you're going to jail, right? You know about this book. Armani Rose is shaking somewhere right now. Like, how the fuck did he get his hands on that shit? How did he get his hands on it? Ratchet then done it again. Ratchet and got his hands on Kiwan White's book that details everything and why he's getting life in prison. Kiwan White, you unalive that little girl. You shot Boosie. You unalive Mo3. This is all what they saying. This, this is all what they saying. You're not getting out for a whole bunch of murders that you committed. A whole bunch of crimes you committed, Kiwan. And you snitched on yourself in your book. You told everything in that book you wrote. You let that girl go pick that shit up and you she got that book. How you let her get that book? I know everybody like, what book is he talking about? He got a song called In a Cell. I can't read his writing, but he got a song called In a Cell. How I got all your music, Kiwan, that you writing in jail right now? How did I get your songs that you writing right now? You snitching on everybody. Banzo Bling. Look, it's right here. Banzo Bling. This is shit. How am I getting his raps? This He in the feds right now. Trap Boy from Trap Boy what? Banzo Bling. I don't know what I don't know, man. Y'all tell me though. This is this Banzo Bling shit. How am I getting my hands on Banzo Bling songs? And he and what he talking about in jail right now, y'all? Ratchet the fucking goat. This dude out of there. He not getting out. That's his that's his music, right? This is all his shit that he writing in jail. This is another by Banzo Bling. By Banzo, he writing. I got that. He got all these songs right now. Talking about his Draco and how it blow, and he got a full round clip and all that. Man, I got all your music, Key One. And you and you snitching. But they said you you the hardest one to you the last one to crack. That's why there ain't gonna be no trial because all they need to do is get you to cop out. All they got to do is get Key One to cop out, and this, there's going to be no Mo3 trial. They already told me there's going to, they're, they're this close because Devin Brown ain't going to trial with this shit. Devin Brown is not taking this to trial. They got him. They not, Devin Brown said he ain't taking this to trial. He already copped out. He already copped out. 
Look at this shit, y'all. Man, man, man. Like I said, I got all this shit. Detective Eric Barnes. Let's get it, Detective Eric Barnes. Her name, this is so many people going down you can't imagine. The Rose Lady threatened me not knowing who I am. Everybody wanted the paperwork I have. They offered me money, but it's not the feds. They want it because what's in these books lists everyone. Ducky, too. Once you get time, maybe we can meet so I can allow you to read in a safe place, but I can't send you the rest. The first witness is Jossie's son. He let his dad know Mo3 is still there. Mo, uh, the mother was the one who first confirmed it per phone records. The video from the neighbor confirmed they knew something took place, rushed from the apartment as soon as the murder took place before it was televised. Also, she was the first to go live. She was the first to go to the station to advise it was her baby daddy, then did an interview with Queen's Domain, knowing she knew uh, who did it the entire time. So Queen's Domain, I don't know if this is news to you, but when Jossie did that interview, she had already went to the feds, I mean, to the police and told. Jossie, tell me I'm lying. When me and you did the interview, Jossie, you had already snitched. You just didn't tell me. But when the news broke, and you was on my live when the news broke, you started acting like you were surprised. But you snitched on him. So let's read this again. The first witness is Jossie's son. He let his dad know Mo3 is still there. The mother was the one who first confirmed it per phone records. So Jossie, the police have your phone records that show you initiated it with Devin. It was not your son. So T-Topics and everybody that's been going around popping that goofy shit i told y'all i told y'all they set his ass up it is what it is it is what it is the police know it so y'all keep saying what y'all saying but they also got phone records that your son did not hit the daddy up it was you you initiated it with the dad per phone records jossie this ain't nothing i'm making up you just go live and say i'm lying I'm going to come back with the rest of it Saturday, so it don't even matter. But we're going to continue tonight. Uh, they said Jossie was the first, uh, excuse me, the mother was the first one uh, who confirmed it per phone records. The video from the neighbor confirmed they knew something took place. She rushed from the apartment as soon as the murder took place before it was televised. Also. She was the first to go to the station to advise it was her baby daddy, then did an interview with Queen's Domain, knowing she knew who did it the entire time. So, Jossie, why did you rush out that apartment before the news broke? How did you know Mo3 got killed? Who told you? You said you found out on the news, but you wasn't even at home. You had already left your apartment. You rushed out of there. The apartment seen you run to your car jump in the car and flee the fucking scene jossie why did you do that why did you run away jossie somebody tell me when ratchet tv start lying see y'all been calling me a liar all this time now i got the whole case in my hands and y'all scraping and scrambling scrambling and scraping i like it when you get to scraping and scrambling looking for shit i like that when everybody get panicking around the mo3 case i got dallas shook right now y'all motherfuckers can't fuck with me this big ratchet the biggest. So anyway, you rushed from the apartment as soon as the murder took place before it was televised. Jossie. And this is what they caught Kiwan with when he was picked up. That is what they caught him with. This is where Kiwan was at. This is where Kiwan ended up when they, I told you this is where they put him at when when they when he met old girl so look at this he was here and he went from here to Atlanta when he met the when he met the uh the the team of people that they sent to infiltrate and he was sent with he was sent somebody that he fell in love with they shipped his ass to Atlanta and he should have stopped talking to the person right there if you were smart, Kiwan, you would have stopped talking to that person, but you got yourself into a life sentence because you thought with your dick. 
got to be more careful than that. You got to be. That's how Ducky P got knocked off. Don't go lie and say nothing about Ducky. Man, it is what it is. That's why Ducky got knocked off. Cause thinking with his dick. I know how he got set up too. They, they was going to get you the same way. But see, there's a person that got a hit on you right now, Kiwan, and the feds know about it. They going to get you in jail. Kiwan, there's a hit. There's a woman. A woman has a hit on you, and they trying to knock you off in jail right now. I think you know about this, though. But I know you wondering, how the fuck does he know about this? I know a lot of people scratching their head like, what the fuck is going on with Ratchet tonight? How the fuck? Kiwan White. Do you know about the hit that's placed on your life right now by the woman? There's a woman that got a hit on your life, Kiwan. And this is where you're at right now, Kiwan. That's you right there. Public records. This is so anybody looking for Kiwan? Ratchet just showed you where he's at. There he goes. This is where Kiwan White is at. Y'all didn't know this, but there you go. There you go. This is where Kiwan White is at. And he will be released from there in 2028. But he ain't getting out. Kiwan White ain't getting out. He will never get out of there. I mean, he'll get out of there. But he'll, he will never get out of these charges. Kiwan White is done. Kiwan White is done. The Mo3 case will not go to trial. There will be no Mo3 case. They're 99.9% .9 sure that this will not go to trial. Miss Noble knows there will be no trial. Rainwater knows there will be no trial. The sisters know there will be no trial. Devin Brown copped out. Jossie, why y'all ain't told the truth? How does Ratchet TV know Devin Brown took a plea deal? Y'all gonna find out about it shortly in the details involved in that plea deal. Devin already copped out. Kiwan, there is no trial. Why you think they won't talk about a trial coming up? They talk about uh, everybody else goes, you ain't seen Kiwan and Devin Brown go to court one time on the Mo3 case. You ain't seen it. You know why? Because there's no fucking trial. Ratchet don't lie. You didn't seen straight dropping Cornelius in court how many times? You ain't never seen Kiwan and Devin enter a court about the Mo3 case. You ain't never seen it. It's This is bigger than the Mo3 case. Kiwan, you're a stone cold serial killer. They're not letting you out. Now, Devin, on the other hand, he may get out. I believe Devin Brown probably ends up, you know, maybe one day. One day. Not no time soon, but he'll get out one day. But all of y'all GRC members are about to get uh, some hefty, hefty sentences. Salute to Dainty and Pris for that 200 piece. She sent 200 buns. Honey bun, won't you do some for me? I appreciate that's two honey buns. Honey bun, won't you do some for me? I appreciate you, Dainty and Pris. Salute, salute, salute. Now, I want y'all to ask yourselves, what do no, I want to know how let me ask y'all a question. Let me ask the chat a question. Hold on, let me let me do this poll. God damn it. How the fuck did I do that? All right, let's go back over here. How credible am I now? OMG, I'm shocked. You're not. I know some people are going to still no troll, but you know, it is what it is. Am I, how credible am I now? Are y'all shocked and appalled at some of the information I just presented y'all? Because I ain't done and I still got more to go. And it's a lot of information I can't, I, I got to wait for. But I got the drop on everybody. I got the drop on everybody. Make sure everybody votes. Vote, 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 vote. Everybody vote. And get the likes. I need 50 more likes. Make sure y'all smash the like button, man. Make sure y'all smash the likes. Make sure y'all smash the likes. Anyway. I don't give a fuck what none of y'all say because can't nobody, you see nobody is trolling in the chat. Rainwater won't come over here. Rainwater, where you at? Somebody find Rainwater. Somebody find Jossie. Somebody find Jackie. Somebody find Ashley. Somebody find somebody where y'all at? If I'm lying, I'm flying. Y'all know I got the real paperwork. That's why none of y'all over here. Y'all know I got that whole case. That's why everybody ran. Y'all all scraping and scrambling, scrambling and scraping right now. Everybody's scraping and scrambling. I know who Armani is. They said Armani is 
Armani is Ducky's mama. She be up at White Diamonds. Is owned by Nino of the Dirty Boys, who is friends with Yellow and Trap. I know because my big cousin. Oh, okay. Salute, salute, salute. Yeah, they all connected. Bro, remember the part you said that the book White said Mo3 ran but ended up trying to fight before he got shot? Yeah, I'm telling you. Mo3 died fighting. Mo3 did not die running away from a, a gun. Mo3, I guess they say on the camera, the dash footage shows. And y'all going to see when it all comes out. Y you can say I'm not credible, but you'll see when it comes out. The dash camera going to show Mo3 tried to fight the person. Who killed him allegedly? That's what they saying. This is what they telling me. They saying Mo three allegedly got knocked off by someone. He they tried to run down on Mo three. They were running and Mo three just tried to bum rush the dude and got shot in the chest. That's how Mo three died. So, uh, Cole Gotti can tell y'all that. Cole Gotti can tell y'all what is today. Today is Wednesday, Thursday. Today's Thursday. So in two days, I'll have the rest of the paperwork. In two days, I'm going to blow to y'all minds the rest of the way. In two more days, we're going to be able to put the rest of this shit together. Y'all just give me two days to put this shit together. Rain, where your Tyler Perry cat wearing it? Rain, water, don't want to. They don't want to do this tonight. Not with me. They don't want to do this with me tonight. You see the, the Ratchet gang popping out. They showing love. Like, look, I got another honey bun. Won't you do some for me? They all in here just incognito. They don't want to be seen right now. Everybody is scared of me right now. They don't know how I got this information. Just know they hit me up. Look, when the lady showed me her badge number, I ain't gonna lie, my damn heart was in my stomach. I'm like, oh, shit, whoa. She was like, first of all, I know you think I'm a troll, but here's my badge. And whoop -de -whoop. It, I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. And she showed me a big, I'm talking about, she got a big ass stack of shit on Key One. I'm talking about the, the shit was so thick. It looked like three damn novels full of shit. I'm like, damn, it's just too much shit to go over. It's so much tea about Key One. But I showed y'all his medical records. Ain't nobody got that. I showed y'all everything that's been going on with Key One, his drug use. Y'all ain't seen that shit. So just know that's just that's just a teeny tiny piece of what I got. That's just a teeny tiny piece. I got way more coming. That's just a teeny tiny piece. And when Key One White goes down for the unaliving of Siobhan Randall, y'all gonna see Ratchet TV had it. Kiwan White unalive that little girl. Rainwater was trying to tell me. How did Rainwater know that information? Because Rainwater is a fed. Calvin, that dude is a fed. He is doing a job, sir. I know you want to be famous. I know you want to be a star. But is it worth you going to jail for the rest of your life for his entertainment? Because, oh, he don't give a fuck. Rainwater is not to be trusted. And I'm going to say that again. Rainwater is not to be trusted. Do not trust Rainwater. Stay woke and stay focused, y'all. Something big is about to happen. Something big is coming, and it's coming real soon, y'all. Something big is about to happen. And just know Ratchet tried to warn everybody. Kiwan White, you about to get life in prison. And again, for the people who thought I was capping, let me let me put this picture up again. Let me go show this picture again. They said Mike T, how he got. They said Mike T, know how he got blanked, unalived with Siobhan. Hold on. It says uh, he uh, he has Mike Titus name on his face, and remember he uh, was unalived with Siobhan. Hmm. His baby mom is serving life for the unaliving. Mike T know he got unalived with Siobhan. Mike T got unalived with Siobhan. That's the person he got on his uh on his on his face. He got I mean on his uh arm. He tatted Mike T on his arm, and that's the person who got unalived with uh Siobhan Randall. That's what the person just hit me up and said. Man, 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 man. Fucking Kiwan White. Key one, white rain called and reported Boosie shot and Mo three shooters shot Boosie shaking my head. Boy, it's a cold game. Rainwater, you better not, you better stay away from Boosie rain because the same hitters that they sent to hit Mo three is the same hitters 
They went to hit Boosie. Now make that make sense. And then here I was the whole time saying Boosie didn't get shot. But allegedly, they the 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 feds are telling me he did. I gotta go with the feds saying I I mean shit. The feds telling me he did get shot and Keywan White is the in and and uh company or the GRC shot Boosie. GRC shot Boosie. So Boosie, if you wanted to know who shot you, it was Keywan. He also got a diss track about you, Boosie. So Boosie, I know you're gonna you you gonna be like, hey, Ratchet, he cool after this one. After this one, he good. I don't, I don't fuck with a lot of shit, but hey, that one, he just threw me an alley oop. Now you know who shot you, Boosie. It was Keywan White. So Ratchet TV told y'all here first. Keywan White is the person who shot Boosie. And he wrote a song about it in jail. He snitched on himself. Boosie, they had the drop on you. Keywan White and then they had surveillance on you. Yellow Beezy put a hit on you. How you feel about that, Boosie? That was your partner. Yellow Beezy put a hit on you, Boosie. Yellow Beezy, you out of here, brother. You next. You finna go down too. I'm going down as the greatest of all time when this is all said and done. I promise you, Mo3 case, it's going down as this is going to be some. This is about to get real epic because shit finna hit the fan real soon. I bet Charleston White is in here loving all this damn ratchet you own, bro. I told you the owner said he did. Man, 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 man. So look, Ratchet Gang, I've been here long enough. I did my job for the night. Just know when we come back, we getting that get back. Oh, we getting that get back. Let me know how y'all felt about this one. This was explosive, but I don't want to stay here too. I told you we could be here damn near three hours. I got too much going on in my head right now, man. I got too much going on. I don't even know what to say right now. I'm going to be real. I don't know what to say. All I can say is it just got messy. I love y'all. This is the best place on YouTube. Can't nobody fuck with me. I gave y'all content for the next week. And when I go back live about the Mo3 case, I'm going to give y'all content for the next month. I love y'all. I'm out. She want me to hit it. Put my blanket on the dress back. She too messy. The fuck them bro boys with? Get out my section. Get out my section. Pull them muscle. God damn, too much flexion. Damn. Caught them in traffic on the accident. We pressing. Got them. Smoking eyes out every second. I be stretching. If they ain't trying to be them, fuck it. Won't you stretch them? Do that. They wipe their nose for that tissue. God bless them. Wipe it. I dropped the floor. Burp. I call that shit. Cause we're up a they wipe his nose for that tissue, God bless him. Wipe it. I dropped the floor, but if I call that shit, cause we're up a drink. I'm the huncho, bitch, I'm about my cheddar. Little hoe keep going out sad, little bitch do better. Bitch, she want me to hit it, put my blanket on the dresser. Got you. Feeling free and just like Elon, pop the pestle. I be you ain't got no motion, you can't stand up in my station. Get out. I said, Carisha, please, you, cause she too messy. Please. Fuck my dog behind my back, but I ain't stressing. Not at all. You wanted the game, you should've just said it. We would have blessed it. Should've just said it. Now she got messy.
GND got that heat, boy. Gonna 60 seconds, never let a bitch stretch me. Before the microphone, I made a milli off the celly. I love to see her walk away because it look like jelly. Went from zero to 60 in two seconds on Pirelli. I'm always at the jury, so I got a diamond fetish. Smoking on the tail while I'm counting up this letter. Stack it to the sky, I believe that I can fly. Told a man in the mirror that you want hell of a guy. If I can do it, so can you, but shit, who the hell am I? Who said it's lonely at the top, cause that's a motherfucking lie. I bought my homeboys with me, ballin' in South Memphis like Dubai. Rolls Royce is back to back to back to back, oh my god. I mean that shit. Hold up, let me finish. Wait, she so fine, I put it in and tried to touch her kidneys. Ah. I'm too motherfucking rich to go and eat at Denny's. What? But fuck that, I'm in a Jack Purdy drive through in a Bentley. Hey. Front seat got my semi. Off oh, yeah, I got plenty. Real up. Playing with these M's, but I started out with pennies. Yeah. A hundo in my skinny. Yeah. Louis 13, shots of top shelf, Remy. Yeah. Grew up thugging just like who was Deuce, baby Jimmy. Hey, hey, bang. Yeah. I grew up thuggin' on my South Memphis rug rack. Rug rack, get drippin' on my knee, these bitches love it. Trip. When I pop out, I got big gigantic stupid racks. Big racks. Fuck a job, I beat the block, I had to flip a pack. Self made nigga, I'm hustle. Can't go back to the days when I ain't had nothing. But I won't forget about the struggle. Now we're just stacking the racks in the trap on my shoe. But now I still this shit in the dump. I real yeah. keep sending them lows and I just keep pressing them. Call them back, I need another one. Another one. Ride around town with a pocket full of jacks. I take up them hundreds and pitches. Keep me a drago, I got a banana clip and a A. I came with titties. Under three shots in my glass, got a jet. Double my cup so you know what I'm saying. Really having this shit, nigga. No, I ain't tripping. Can't ride the mob, nigga. I'm never flipping. Shit. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, I ain't never flipping. Flip. I don't think none of y'all niggas flipping. Yeah. MG, motherfucker, pat. Get. And I ain't worried about none of these little broke ass niggas. All these bitches, bitch. Everything a nigga do out here, these yeah. streets they just gon' mimic. mimic. 7500 for a shoulder, nigga yeah. gon' boogie. I ain't no gimmick. No I'ma call 6 point nose and fix one. Yeah, yeah, they hemming. Hemming. Him. That nigga really have motion. Nah. I just sure the whole damn myth. Make a play with white and end up building up McMillan. Really made a killer. A killer. Off of back from ceiling. ceiling. Never been in love cause uh-uh. I can't really catch no feeling. No feeling. Never had no 9 to 5 uh-uh. cause I love drug dealing. Drug dealing. Yeah. Up in that field a nigga going as the wheel of wheel. Beat the block up yeah. to the dope. All gone. gone. Yeah. Trapping real, real hard yeah. off a of two phone. Both on. The fucking take off, man. Hey, you want Rest some in juice? peace, man. Shout out to his family, man. We sent our condolences to y'all for a million dollars worth of game, man. Shout out to QC, shout out to P, shout out to Coach, the Migos, everybody, man. Bad bitch, small always, pretty face. Head in my way, have it, have it. She let me nut on the face. Stay in your place, stay in your Sit up and stay out the way. Shut up. Decided what I'm gonna do today. I'ma go ride the rave, go. I'ma go ride the rave. I wanna look at the stars today. Ghost. I'ma go ride the rave. Ghost. I'ma go ride the rave. Ghost. I'ma go ride the rave. Thinking my cop in that dying today. I'ma go ride the rave. Ghost. I'ma go ride the rave. I'ma go ride the rave. I'ma go ride like I'm from the bay. Hey. You better watch your bay. Better up doing what's time to say. Hey. They make cause I caught the rave. Only they look at my license plate. Hey. They look at my jewelry when I hop out. Start singing amazing grace. Hey. The feast we eat before we jump in. My nigga, we gotta say grace. Got to. My grandma, my Gone, but can't be replaced. Oh. Then she fades away. Then I'm turning the page on niggas. I waited days, remember. Waited. Man had that thumb on the side of my hood, so it can change a nigga. How? Your niggas are slow, slow. I can beat you running backwards. backwards. The way I can fly the brake. Thought you would've seen Casper. Where? No, I ain't gon' hide the gate. No. Cause I know I'm who they after. Fucking bastard. How much you charge a feature? Extra 20 if you ask him. Got a taste. Bad bitch. Hey. Small always, pretty face. Pretty. Have in my way. Have it, have it. She let me know on the face. What I'm gonna do today I'ma go ride the rave I'ma go ride the rave I wanna look at the stars today I'ma go ride the rave I'ma go ride the rave I'ma go ride the rave Like in my cup in that dime today I'ma go ride the rave I'ma go ride the rave I let her ride the rave Come on, But she wanna ride the face And give her the car But I gave her 30 case So she can slide the slay These niggas be talking about double I roll But did it 2008 Come on Double up, backing up, get out the way. Get out, we're flying the seat, we're flying. Put the one button massaging me. Massage, I ride with heat, ride. But all of my niggas deceased. Die. The pen of us gotta eat breed. Yeah. The lot of us gotta eat stink. Yeah. Fuck 12, nigga, pass on feet. Fuck 12. Cartel, get the bad dirt cheap. Got gab, but the tank on E. Yeah. No flab, but the ice 
Ice on fleet. No flag. Walking out with the bag and receipt. No clock, all facts when I speak. No clock. White bread for the red and black seeds. Break. Pulling up like a pocket with me. Pulling up. She complain when she see the double law. When she find I can't with me. Bad bitch. Bad. Small waist, pretty face. Pretty. Having my way. Having, having. She let me know on the face. Bad. Stay in your place. Stay in your Shut up and stay out the way. Shut up. Decided what I'm gonna do today. I'ma go ride the race. I'ma go ride the race. I wanna look at the stars today. I'ma go ride the race. I'ma go ride the race. I'ma go ride the race. Taking my cup in that dime today. I'ma go ride the race. I'ma go ride the race. Time it feels like I'm too late. And I know I'm still great in spite of my mistakes. You know it's authentic every rhyme I say. My only regret is I made niggas wait. See, ain't too many like us, we like Venice bait. And I don't fuck with busters, I can't integrate. Grew up with these killers in my living space. A lot of niggas folded through them village days. Citywide gang and junction police raids. LA Times rolling 60s made the front page. I vowed to never let tradition seal my fate Selling dope with hopes to graduate to real estate I knew I was drumming to a different beat Felt it in my stomach, I was just unique We decided we gon' let these visions speak Then we turned Swanson into Venice Beach S600 made back platinum dealer plates Wake up in this penthouse to the cityscape You know it's authentic every shit I say I knew self-destruction ain't the only way Sometimes perfect time, it feel like I'm too late But I know you still great in spite of your mistakes Before you run your race, you gotta find a pace Just make sure you cross the line and fuck the time it takes I got out the county jail 2008 Couple months I dropped the tape, then I was on my way My first single out and set the streets ablaze On location, shot that video in front of cage Trying to find my way through this fucking maze Every concert, hundred niggas on the stage we're still active, so it's really just another day. Promoters paranoid, the book you out affects your pay. And when you stop eating, that affects your weight. And when you get hungry, that affects your brain. See me, I'm not tripping, I respect the game. I hope y'all do. If I can't make it, I'm gonna take a change. See, ain't too many like us, we like finished bait. And I don't fuck with busters, I can't integrate. I know perfect time, it feels like I'm too late. But every single time I drop, they tell me I'm the great. I know perfect time, it feels like I'm too late. And I know I'm still great in spite of my mistakes. You know it's authentic every rhyme I say. My only regret is I made niggas wait. I know perfect time, it feels like I'm too late. And I know I'm still great in spite of my mistakes. You know it's authentic every rhyme I say. My only regret is I made niggas wait. Daddy Houston.